Oh my god, there are so many people in my house right now. Yeah. Give us all your money. Right. Uh, so I didn't have time to watch the featured topic this week. Gar. It's okay, dude. Is it? Really? Yeah. yeah. Gar, need I remind you? This is episode 500. We're not doing a feature topic. Then what's the big topic? Uh, we're going to have a frank and honest discussion where we sit around, share our feelings, and get to know each other. Oh, fuck this. Sounds good to me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, there he goes. Gar, you need help! <laughs> no, I don't. You need friends! I need Ultra Ranger. Just, just don't send Aka Yellow in! Joke's on him, I quit I Ultra like Ranger. Him. Hey, y'all, I'm Aka Yellow. <laughs> 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 They're a giant murder horn. Oh, it's Aki Yellow! God damn, fuck, get out of here! Get out of here, you're dead. I, I shot you. be back. Cue the roll call! So here's where I have a surprise for all of you. Oh. We're gonna do the roll call live! Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna count down, and then we're all gonna say we're live. Uh, the right. one time I do it, it backfires! <laughs> Three, two, one. We're, we're live! live. Showrunning Super Savant, Bluecaster Super Ichi, Loud and Online Greycaster Robo Lane, Respecting the Source Material Greencaster Zen Shi, uh, Researcher Netoku Burst Ultracaster Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Autogar. <laughs> Emily. <laughs> Dreamcaster? Orangecaster. <laughs> Trauma Inducer! Northcaster! Saga! Dream. You wanna do yours over, Emma? <laughs> I used to be Dreamcaster, but now I'm Orangecaster. <laughs> We're keeping it. There we go. <laughs> All together! It's not, perfect! <laughs> and I'm Gar. I want to say, for I something know. that we did not know was about to happen, that that, that didn't go as bad as it could have gone. It could have gone much worse. Play the few. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Why did I forget that I was an orange caster? That's a good, and, really and, fucking good question. It's better than me. I loved it by going ultra caster. I'm like, wait. <laughs> Yo, it's God. on the fucking screen up there. I can't. <laughs> Okay, that caught me so off guard. I was not ready. Uh, what's Pokemon 500? And Bora. That was a purposeful throwback, not me being an idiot. I promise. Good cover up. Oh, is Embor? Cool. Yeah. cool. I'm not editing any of that. That's all staying in. <laughs> it's episode Embor. It's cool. No. It's retro. Retro's in. <laughs> Welcome to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger episode 500! We've been doing it that long? <laughs> Holy crap! Now that's a, that's a callback. Yeah. Forty-five episodes too long for a traditional sentai. <laughs> We're almost half as long as One Piece. <laughs> and Someone post a picture of the Pokemon. We need to have follow our tradition. And oh, Lazy right Coon Pokemon Desu. Is Blaze here? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Oh, awesome. Of course he is. Blaze, where's my Pokemon? Where's my Digimon? Where's my Pokemon? <laughs> Oh, man. All right. It's a very special episode. We got just about everybody here in the studio. Emily's joining us via Discord, so audio is a little wonky because we're all sharing one microphone, so apologies that the audio is not, not quite as tight as it usually is. But it's a special day, it's a special week, and it's a special episode. There's the Embor. There he is. All right. Well, so, like M whore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can't believe how well timed this episode is, considering this is our episode 500 celebration, and then next week is the Gotchard finale. It happened with Revice as yeah. well. You yeah. know what? We did episode 400. All the way episode was the finale. These wow. things do tend to line up. I've noticed. Yeah. Maybe we just need to take a break <laughs> for like one week. Come back and then. Really that fresh. way, episode 600 will be on the finale of Weber Comrades no. in two years, but done by Yuya Takahashi. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, what we do is 
After this, Time to. we end Cast Ranger. We cancel it completely. We move it from all the internet. And then we come back with new Cast Ranger. Cast Ranger <laughs> which, reboot. Which tastes slightly different and no one's going to like it. And But then we'll bring back original Cast, Cast Ranger, Ranger classic. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Super Cast Ranger. Bring back Cast all the Ranger original. X. Bring back the original five members. No no, 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 no. Cast Ranger X is the robot we've been building in our lab. That's we bring different. back Raven, Dave, and Kevin. Oh God. Oh. Yep. Next. I love how everyone goes silent. Like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Maybe replace that another one with Jermaine. Oh, guys, I wanted to uh, show you. Look who I brought. Special guest. <laughs> ah! I got. It. And we'll call it Cast Ranger Prime. <laughs> Oh god, it's our enemies, Metrolinx! They just got in here! <laughs> oh man, alright. So, uh, if you happen to be tuning into this episode and hearing us for the first time, hell of an episode to pick. We are a bunch of French. Canadian tokusatsu friends who get together every week to talk about Kamen Rider Super Sentai and usually a third thing, but alas, today is not such a day. I miss it used to be gaggles. <laughs> we could still be gaggles. <gasps> Yay! Gaggle and Can we be gargles? <laughs> a gaggle your, of gargles? That's your, that's your Gar's gargles. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's your chat. Your Gar's gargles. Your chat yeah, it's already right. got one. Yeah. Cast Ranger and Knuckles. <laughs> Cast Ranger 3 and Knuckles. <laughs> I saw Cast Ranger Cast Shippuden. Ranger. No, Cast Ranger featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. New Funky, new funky Mode. mode. Cast Ranger, yeah, of, a series for the past. Super Cast Ranger Bros. Melee. <laughs> Cast Ranger Infinity War. <laughs> Two cast, cast two Ranger Ranger. Endgame? Cast Ranger Doomsday? Two cast, two Ranger. <laughs> cast X. Range caster. Oh! Cast no. Ranger the Ichi Dynasty. <laughs> just a bunch of Ichis. No. Just that gif of Ken. Just... <laughs> the Cast Ranger experiencing featuring Homer. <laughs> Post your favorites in the comments. Cast Ranger and friends. This is just going to be the show now, people. <laughs> Yeah, it just us pitching like unsuccessful titles for the sequel. The Cast Ranger Multiverse. How about, how about we just call it Cast Ranger 2? The Adventure of the Casters. The secret of the Casters. Cast Ranger 2 Electric Blue Galoo, oh. which is a joke I'm sure I've made before. Cast Ranger X North York Follies. Cast Ranger Brave. RSC. Because, you know, it's, the, you know it's, our, it's our initials. No, it's the a ACU, the Audio Cast Ranger Universe. Oh. Cast Ranger, Secret of the Ooze. There we go. Uh, we don't have an ooze-based villain yet. Mm, yet. <laughs> There's always time. Cast, All right. Cast Ranger Babies. So, what we are doing this week is we are talking about Gotchard Episode 49 and Boom Boonger Episode 25. Sure. And in lieu of a feature topic, we will be doing something we haven't done in, I think, a couple years. And we're doing a Q&A session. <gasps> we're sorry, guys. I know it's a cop-out. <laughs> the last time we did one... We all individually recorded our answers, and I just edited them all together. We, we asked Paul what his favorite color was, and he went into this full fucking ten minute monologue about it. <laughs> there was a whole the meme. Tone. <laughs> it's the first meme I've ever had based on me, but so I'm it, quite honored. Yeah, it was more to do with the fact that you said all this stuff about Earth Tones, purple. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I went over it. I think, ah, the, yes, I think purple, the funniest one for me was when we all said... Hey, most violets are plants. Plants grow in the Earth. Violets and Earth. My favorite was when most of us answered our favorite handoff was the Kyo Ruja to Tokyo one, and we were like, yeah, that one was really good. <laughs> that was really clever. Yeah. I, I liked I liked the part where Sol had the one Astro Mega Zord toy. And I got all this shit. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> all your pop finals. Uh, so this time for a Q&A, we're doing it a little differently. We're all going to be in the same room. We all have a list of questions, most of which were submitted by you, the listeners, the fans. The audience. The yeah, fans. Vegas, thanks. All y'all guys <laughs> had questions for us, things you wanted to know. Except for the one that's currently sleeping right now that's listening to this after they're waking up. Yeah, you know who you are. That's right. You did this, Frank. <laughs> and okay. Sean, who's not subscribed. Can, can we go with two different names? <laughs> Fucking Bimmy. That's better. Bimmy? 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 Yeah, From Double Dragon? Bimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, Bimmy. He's, a, yes. he's our first fan. <laughs> Where's uh, Bimmy right. and Jimmy? <laughs> All right, so uh, we are going to stick to our usual tradition, though, and before we get into any of that, we have some news to talk about. News about news mode. News mode. Who who does that voice? It was, I think it was the same. It was like a text to speech thing. Uh, yeah, okay. it's a James speech. I, I James think it's the mode. same one that does the James speak from the progress keys. So, so, it was AI so long ago, I don't remember. Thanks, James. 
Yeah. It sounds like it sounds like the progress keys. See, see, we're using AI to for what it's meant to be short form. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, first on the news docket, sounds unsurprising. We have the announcement of the Majesty Driver Unit, Fuck. aka yet another fucking Gotcha Driver attachment. Well, it's just the Alchemist Driver Unit, but painted a different color. It's the Player Two version. Yeah. I mean, I like. I know it's the same basic toy, but I like. I, I like the color scheme of it. Yeah. I think it pops. I think it looks really good. And I, I, I wasn't here to say so, but I really, really like her form. You just gotta make sure to get the the other alchemist unit so you can use both rings, because you have to use both rings for it. I'm pretty confident the rings are the same, and if you only have one of them, you can just tap it twice. Yeah, but for the role-playing, you gotta use both! I I do like that it comes with two different uh, extensions for the rings. Sure. Child? Slightly bigger child. (laughs) (laughs) Essentially. I I remember remember when I had to get the biggest size for the wizard rings, and it just barely fit me. Because you have the hands of a Japanese child, we've been over this. Not anymore. (laughs) I don't have the waist of one anymore. I love how Toei is more than willing to market this stuff to older fans, like acknowledging that older fans... They do every now and then put out like bigger (laughs) ring sizes. But but they absolutely will not manufacture it. Ataro nailed it. Comes in Atropos size and Rene size. That's the answer. There you go. It comes in, it comes in child size and obese child size. Oh. Aww. <laughs> That's not fat shame. I didn't say fat shame. <laughs> All right. So, yes, this is the driver attachment for Twilight Majade. Uh, but no, the joke wasn't fat shaming. The joke was that it's just child and larger child. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, Premium Bandai. Not at all. Premium Bandai web exclusive 6820 yen releasing in February. Cool. Well, cool. I won't get it because <laughs> fair enough. Oh, wait, wait a minute, guys. We missed the perfect joke. For your son and your for your older, balder, fatter, fatter son. <laughs> <laughs> now that's fat shaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Child enlargement surgery. Wait, no, I have the sound. <laughs> you bastard. Is that from Ringing Rainbow? Yeah. <laughs> I play that in my head. It's one of the best sounds to cut to another shot ever. <laughs> I play that in my head every time I come through a door. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to take my word for it. And speaking of cutting to another shot, also announced the Valvara Driver Kurogana unit. Now that's really cool. Are you going to get this one? Like? No. <laughs> no. Who are you? I have two. I have, I, have oh Legend, I have all of Legend's shit. I have all I need from Gotcher. No, it's like he answers no, and you see, like, one magically appears in his lap. He's like, just, what's that? You Nothing. just see my cart, o- my cart open in Amazon Japan. It already added it for you and purchased it. With it's already on its way here. Yeah. It's waiting at my house right now. Playing trips. You get an email from Jeff Bezos saying, you know, I thought you might like this. I used your money, though. <laughs> this thing looks fucking badass, though. It does. I, I will say, out of all of the Gutcher Driver attachments, I think this is the coolest looking. Yeah, and the fact that they, like, chromified in, like, future text Mad Wheel and Dione, it's so cool. Well, of course, Lane. Everything's chrome in the future. Future! <laughs> future! Future! <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it comes with uh, metal mock wheel and metal Dione metal chemi cards. Oh no, there's gonna be metal versions. Oh yeah, now they're gonna make like a metal, actually, metal like, set of the. Card. I don't think they're gonna. They're, make no, metal they're going long. to be okay. fucking whoring out on these chemi cards for years. But they're not like display <laughs> cards. They're not printed on stainless steel or no, anything. No, like, no, no, okay. no. That'd be cool. Thought, that'd that'd say, be hilarious. No, when I heard awesome. you say metal cards, I was like, really? That's what it's gonna be: premium Bandai metal chemi card or chemi card set. Metal edition, and it's going to be every chemi card in that design. <laughs> they, they advertise that it's going to be made of metal, and then you open it. This is aluminum. <laughs> this is printed on foil. This is made of tin. So it's like my mom's There's drew chocolate this. underneath these cards. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's cho- a gas promotion. <laughs> it's chocolate. Oh, now I really want to win. Common Rider Bell confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> they open the cards. I found the golden ticket. Look at them. Look at them striking that cool pose. Common Rider Valen Varad. <laughs> can't wait for like, it. Turns out, like, all, it turns out the cards are chocolate bars, but like you unwrap the cards and there's a card inside as the prize for the chocolate bar. <laughs> And it's, it's just can a regular someone, version of the card. Can someone shot Valvarad's helmet onto Valen's body and then <laughs> shot the head, head on the shot? That'd be awesome. Val, <laughs> Valvarad. Uh, oh, I love the the phrasing on this. By pressing the lever to close the cover and then pulling down on the trigger on the front, you can switch it to the super special move mode. Ooh. Mm. Amazing. I also operate that. Is that, that a, a second valve pressure? <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> 
you can activate more special moves by switching ride Kemi cards while in special move standby mode. You know what? I can see it now. I can see them making a adult size version of this sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. probably will. Right? They did it with Memorial Buster's Edition like, Valva Rusher. I can see it. That'd be cool. Yeah. And like, people, like, people will buy two of them. S- s- comes complete yeah. with a with a little little kiss mark from the case. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know what? If they were to do it in the same way they did with Common Rider Buster's sword, like creating an attachment that goes on top. of That the was fan made though. Oh, okay. But yeah. like, that was something I think Toe Collectibles did. Yeah, but to, yeah, but like the company should do that. Like, well, it's the a, thing is, the way the Valva Rusher works with mm-hmm. the way it like opens up halfway through, I don't think that would be uh, okay. as doable. Understood. Yeah, but yeah, a full sized adult version would be great. No, no instead of her, like die cast or something, and it works as an actual wrench. Mm-hmm. There's just a little notch that says <laughs> for all those giant nuts you gotta turn. <laughs> oh yeah, you know it'll come with like a voice line, like Lakisa's going like. <laughs> oh god, I, mean, I like that. Uh, so yeah, premium Mandai web exclusive, sixty six hundred yen, releasing also in February. So like seventy five bucks. Yeah, something like that. Before shipping, handling. So that's yeah. that's and really customs. cool though. This is a really cool fucking driver set. So. Yeah, and we'll talk about more about this form when we talk about the episode. Oh yeah. All right. Next news story. We got a poster uh, from the Boon Boonger Twitter account. I, when I first saw this, I thought this was a poster for a movie, but apparently this is the poster advertising the next arc of the show, the quote-unquote third lap. Oh, well, did oh. someone make, like, a custom Valva Rusher? Like, one scale? That's cool. I mean, am I seeing... Is it just me, or am I seeing Tokyo and Ichigo up there? So I guess... I yeah. guess that would be the first thing we go so, into. Yeah, Tokyo, Ichigo. Every time okay. I looked at this poster, I discovered something new about it, so... We have a few things to look at here. We see, obviously, Tokyo Ichigo, which means just like they did with Goanger, they're doing a Tokyo crossover episode. Ten and years later. Yeah, God, it just won't leave me alone. Yeah, Tokyo <laughs> Tokyo is coming back to celebrate its 10 year anniversary. Mm. I guess that means I can't watch this season. No, Tokyo is very celebrated with us because we wouldn't be here without Tokyo Thank you, giant train thank dick. You, thank you, punch dick, dick but, punching but, out of a coffin. But now the question remains: Will it be lights actor or lights child actor? Ooh. I hope it's. What if it's actor. the child actor who's now ten years older? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, now he's actually the right age. That'd be hilarious. I love that. That would actually be really good, right? Yeah, that would be fun. I'd watch that. <laughs> Um, we can also see that Boon Red is sporting another super form, I guess. It's like Champion Boon Red, champion I think it's form? Yeah, yeah. Cha- Champion form. That's a sick jacket, and you know they're going to sell that. I <laughs> just love the idea that the, they're they're positing that a super form for a Super Sentai suit a is just a fucking jacket. It's cool, hey, though! Hey, she conjured it. That was different. <laughs> that was a different. That's different. We'll talk about it later. I think because it's like a racer uniform... People, like, no, when they, when they win, like, championships, they put on a jacket. It's absolutely on brand. It's I, on brand. I love it. Yeah. Plus, that is an incredible pose for being in that. Do you know what his final attack's going to be? It's going to be him popping off a fucking ball of champagne <laughs> and fucking spraying it everywhere and beating the monster. He has one of those plastic oh. guns. Champagne blaster! He has one of those plastic <laughs> guns that can fire $100 bills. <laughs> his actual money. Once yeah. we get better pictures, I am making that... That third place meme with the champion form. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Looks incredible. Yeah. I, I, I think that's rash. I want to see it from the front. Like, I do want to see it from the front, but I like what I'm seeing. Yeah. Um, um, also, we can see that our boy Mad Rex is making a comeback. Mad Rex yeah. is here, which I'm means sure. he's coming back. Thank fucking God, because I'm sick and tired of Cannon Morgan. Well, we'll get into uh, that later. Yep. We'll talk about that. We can also see the next general... Is he named? I don't know. If... Uh, no. Oh yeah, yeah. His name is Disrace. <laughs> Disrace. I'm gonna win Disrace. Voiced by Shotaro Mori Kubo, Cone from Bleach. Oh. oh. And uh, it's the, and, the yellow uh, line what's mascot. That is that orange? I don't know. <laughs> is that orange all I, in the background? My, my favorite thing about this poster is the fact that Boon Orange is on a higher level than the rest of them, which means I was right. He's going to do something big and amazing, yes. and I can't wait to see what it is. But he's all shadowed out. He does, yeah. He's Maybe like, evil. Yeah, and he's also dupli- He's also the most duplicitous of them. See, Maybe he turns he's on gonna, them. He's going to betray them. Maybe. Yeah, I, I, I just, I know, I like to think that his personality, we've been seeing him, like, the whole show. It's a front. I, it's a front. He's Could definitely be. hiding something. So, I'm interested to see where this fucking goes. He's, he's got that cherry energy, if you know what I mean. Whoa. Well, what if he's an experiment from Cannon Borg? <laughs> Maybe. Disguise himself as a human on Earth. Oh, he's just there to, like, fucking, like, look over the, watch over the boom boom. Just, he's a spy? But, like, <gasps> no, 
Oh, no, he's funny does, because Blue's already a quote unquote spy. He doesn't so. have to be a spy. He's his first and foremost thing is pushing merchandise and stuff. Yeah. He's a, he's a sailor. Maybe we player. find out where he gets all that shit from. And also, yeah, maybe yeah. maybe the Hashalians give him a better offer. I mean, they they've been doing that thing with Sakito though. I don't think they'd repeat that. I know, that idea. but you know what? It'd be kind of cool if like because Sakito at the beginning, you would think that maybe he might be, he might like, like betray them. But maybe the one, maybe he did like, for a while. Maybe when faced with the same choice, Orange makes a different choice. We'll have to see. He's, like a, he, he's a very off color for a Sentai. I, I also, Literally. I also yeah. just like for Boon, for Boon Violet, he's like crouched down on the poster, like, the fuck am I looking at? What's all this shit? Yeah. In a movie? <laughs> Wait, don't I get a jacket? <laughs> I also noticed there's a new Zord here on the left, which yeah. I think is like the champion form yeah, so Zord. That, that's going to unlock their like ultra, like not ultra Zord. Yeah, their ultra Zord, yeah. which is silhouette. Which is silhouetted the across the top with the five faces. I noticed only five faces, by the way. Mm-hmm. Violet doesn't get to be part of this combination. But listen, no, Violet, he's off to the side. He, he gets to fly. Or maybe already. orange doesn't. No, orange, no, orange face is there. You can see oh, okay. that you can see the emblems of their face masks yeah, on it. I, I heard a crazy theory that Orange might get recasted. Oh, like maybe something happens to Genba and someone else becomes Boon Orange. Yeah, that could Aww. be it. In which it would work with the Battle Fever J homage with the color scheme because Battle Kosak ended up getting killed, and a new person took over for him. <laughs> oh, oh okay. yeah, he died in the just, just costume. Maybe it'll yeah. be the opposite. Just just someone, like Zenkaiju did. <laughs> Maybe it'll be the opposite, and someone kills Boon Orange, takes the Boon like his Boon Boon Changer, and becomes evil. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, are we forgetting, guys? Ty is a serial killer. Six yeah. <laughs> he, 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 Bimba's might... gonna die in an unfortunate car accident. I'm gonna send you no. where I sent my hero. No, 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 no. Taya isn't the Taya isn't the serial killer. His identical twin brother is. Heck, <laughs> <laughs> Bimba just turns off. It's me, Taya. <laughs> His identical twin brother, Wheel. No, it's my brother, Taya too. <laughs> spare. Tuya. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, spare. Spare, yeah. spare. Spare Taya. Spare, spare Taya. Spare. <laughs> His name is Spare. <laughs> That'd be great. To- awesome. Toei, you're I know you're listening. I know for there a you fact go. you're Orange listening. Secret twin brother, evil twin. <laughs> spare Taya. His evil twin Tayo, so his name means the sun. Maybe it's Taya's son! <gasps> the sun! <laughs> <laughs> And of course, we got the three seaters being goobs in the corners as always. As being, the, for, being the best ever. It'd like, be great. I, I like, buddy, they're going, can you believe this shit? <laughs> what work is this? What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> like, this really does look like a fucking MCU poster. <laughs> That's why I thought it was a movie. It, 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 it looks like a movie poster. It yeah. even has the orange and blue. Oh, and I just realized they, because they did the same thing in King Oger when they were going to the second half. And they they, had, they did one for the second lap, too, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when they killed off Mad Rex. So but with, like, like, but with how tight and saturated it is, I, it almost gives me Struzon vibes. A little bit. Like, maybe. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> a little bit more, a little bit more MCU, you're right. Um. So, yes, this is to commemorate the show's third quarter. Um... Ba, 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 ba. Dis race. Tokyo Ichigo is appearing. We don't know yet if Jun Shisan is reprising his role. Uh, third lap starts with the 26th episode, airing August 25th, which is tonight. <gasps> That's today! <laughs> so, and, and it starts off with a clip episode. <laughs> That's one more! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's probably going to be a clip show because of Gotchard ending. Like, yeah, yeah they, like Toei doesn't want to take away the thunder Gotchard's that thunder. is Gotchard's finale. Whatever thunder's got left. <laughs> okay, you I'm know what? That's why you're not getting my decade chemi card. No! Oh. You, know, you lost your water privileges. <laughs> In fact, you're never you drinking lost water your podcast again. privileges. Oh, okay. You're banned All right. from water. It's okay, Elaine. This next news story should make you happy because Legend's in it. Yay! Uh, announced gorgeous sports day of Rewa Common Riders miniseries. Gorgeous is never leaving, AJ. Is Legend like the, 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 the star of it? I guess. Cool! Hi! Or Legend! Because Legend's the no, new no, decade. Okay, decade okay. literally passed the torch to okay, him. Okay, technically, none of the actual characters are in this. Oh. It's their suit actors competing <laughs> in like little sports. Oh, things. is that the just, video I saw? Like, just like doing, doing the, the West Tyson yeah. specials. Okay, that's cute though. And it's like everyone's like, wait, why are all the female riders there but not Valkyrie? Valkyrie was suit acted by a man. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Whoops. All those other female common writers are all female suit actors. Uh, cue the shot of that one pink Sentai looking actor and they pull off the mask and it's just some old bald dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's Uncle Mario. Yeah, it's Uncle Mario from in the year. Oh yeah, Zuo Human. Yeah. Zuo Human. Oh, yes. someone just I miss Mario. Mario. The subs. They need to make like a side special episode of all the joke rangers like Zuo Human, Albury Pink, uh, Kirame, Kirame Gold, Shinken Brown, Shinken Brown, Shinken Brown. Soul Brown. Yeah. Ugh. Just making a joke. Why are there two Browns? <laughs> Shinken Brown. All right, so uh, the official Kamen Rider website announced a special mini series called Kamen Rider Reiwa's Gorgeous Sports Day, in which Kamen Riders from Showa Heisei and Reiwa eras gather for a gorgeous athletics event. There are four events, all will feature commentary from comedian Shihashi Just Away and Mr. Kamen Rider himself, Seiji Takaiwa. I, rem- I just remember when they did like an old like special like with Decade and they did like a they did like a race. And yeah, you just that's see- what I was talking about, yeah. the, the web specials. <laughs> and you just see Black just walking epically yeah. the whole time. Yeah. He was doing his like, like, his, like, like vampire walk. Yeah. <laughs> Deno picks a fight. <laughs> uh, there are four events. Uh, all four episodes will be streaming on YouTube via the TT. Oh, with English subtitles, Corey to Midas. Yeah, that's good. It, we should watch this. Yeah, <laughs> available for free worldwide. The, as of this writing, the first two episodes are available. Cool. Although that, that's why I saw clips of it on Twitter. In that the first sense. episode, we have Rewa Common Rider Obstacle Course in brackets men, and its participants are Gotcha, Geats, Revive, Vice, Saber, and Zero One. So oh, all the title writers. that's good. I can always say you got to have Revive Vice was this, together. Was this during the Olympics too? This, this was just this aired a week Olympics. ago. It's like the Olympics just ended. Oh, okay, when that happened. Yeah, uh, Japan likes to parody everything. Yeah. Then we have r- the second episode, Reiwa Common Riders Obstacle Course, in brackets, women. And its participants are Majay, Nago, Lopo, Jean, Aguilera, and Sabala. Uh, fucking Nago. Uh-uh-uh. Yeah. Woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then for the next two episodes, we have A Turbulent Journey, Generational Common Rider Relay, Men. where we have three teams... The Showa team of Ichigo V3 and Amazon, the Heisei team of Kuga Blade and Drive, and the Reiwa team of Zero and Saber and Vice. Uh, so that one's airing this weekend. Uh, and then airing tomorrow, the final episode, a new writer appears, Gav versus Gotchard. The showdown between Gotchard and Gav. All right. Cool. So that airs tomorrow. Fine, you will know who wins. Snacks? <laughs> Gav loses and gets canceled. <laughs> And then we get Gotchar 2. Oh. It's... I thought you were going to say Gav loses and gets cancer, and I was just like, oh my god, why? <laughs> That's the bonus. No, Gav gets that bees. Yeah, from too many snacks. Gets the bees. Yeah, that makes more sense. Who will, co- who will reign supreme? Snack monsters or the monsters from Flint the Time Detective? Mm. <laughs> That's all. Get along. That's basically what the fucking chemis are. Gotchar 2. Gotcharder. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's or would it be Gotchar GX? Generation next? Game up. Get now we fuse them. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then the third season will finally have Gold Dash be a prominent character. I love Gold and Dash. that's the. Kamen Riders on motorcycles. Huh? Finally. Kamen Riders on motorcycles? Kamen Riders. I was so on scared for a bit. I was like, wait, where's Gab's bike? And it's like, oh, he has a bike. Oh, thank God. It turns into like a fucking it's the candy ATV neck. and then the giant yeah. robot. I, I was so afraid that Toei destroyed it. You know what? He doesn't get one. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> drive, I mean, Drive got a car. Yeah, but that's different. You know, that's Trotter a one, car. Trotter one's sick. It's in a museum. Yeah, All right, so those are happening. And our last news story. I, I think Garvin might want to take the helm on this one. Yeah, so uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger comic just came to an end from Boom Studios of their Darkest Hour event. However, that does not mean that they are done with the series. Apparently, Boom Studios is now working with Hasbro personally, with Melissa Flores, to create a new ongoing comic book series, Power Rangers Prime. Okay, you can tell Hasbro is a part of this. Freaking, it has Prime in the title. It will sell. Oh, yeah. I mean, they might team up with Optimus. Mm-hmm. I kind of hope not. Do we have a premise? Yo, uh, it's, the Autobots so, is Power Rangers? Okay, so <laughs> essentially... What Autobots is, is Zords. I wish. I fucking wish. Yeah, but uh, go ahead. So, Power Rangers Prime, from what we understand from the little description, we are getting what is essentially Power Rangers version of the Marvel Ultimate Universe. 
Universe. Oh. Okay. Where they're taking concept. It's not based on any show. They're taking elements that they enjoy from this from the franchise as a whole and creating their own little universe out of it. And, so, also, and also this time Zordon's played by Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> I think I even think instead of being high schoolers like teenagers with they are still teenagers, but they're in university. Okay. Okay. So like they don't just have in university. Here to talk to you about the range. Oh, oh, oh no! Instead of teenagers with attitudes, teenagers in financial stress. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, the, apparently they're having Lauren Sheba, aka Princess Shinken Red, as the main character. Hmm. I like okay. Lauren. She was really great in Samurai. Okay. Very underused. She is on the run from the Altarian police for oh. being a Power Ranger and finds her way to Angel Grove. I've been reading about this. I've, I've actually, scum. I've actually read a little bit about it, and I saw a couple of like you know images from it, and it almost looks like the Altarians are being painted as villainous, like they're autocratic oh, and oh yeah, if you very yeah, suppressive. Yeah. If, if you read which the would explain why Zordon was in the Time Warp, I guess, and or got away from them. Oh, mm-hmm. essentially, uh, in the previous previous series, there was a sub series called the. The Altarian War, where we just find out, wow, you're all fucking assholes, aren't you? <laughs> Not all of them are like Zordon. Or Zed. Wow. Is Zed Altarian? Yeah, in that continuity. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or Altarian, sorry. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, Zed is Altarian. Is Zed Altaria the Pokemon? <laughs> I, wonder if, I guess he's the shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of clouds, it's muscles. Zed's not yellow. I mean, look at Eveltal. That is a bird made of muscles. Implying that he is a different All birds are made of muscles. Skin implies that Zed You're has not wrong. Made of Science brain. with Cell. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, oh, this makes me happy. Uh, veteran Power Ranger artist Dan Mora is returning to be the character designer for the series. Yay. Yes. Let's see that cover again. That's a cool cover. It looks very Blade Runner. Yeah. 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 There it is. Cool. Look at that. Look at that sword. Cool. Yeah, I like it. I like the. I like how it like uses the diamond uh, motif. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It, it even sort of looks like he has the uh, the t- the Tyranno emblem on the on the chest, reminds, like the old toys. It reminds me of the one Jason used in the twenty seventeen movie. Mm. So it had like on his like yeah. arm hand, and just like. Yeah, it's just it's just a bit more creative because yeah. like you see the Tyrannosaurus. I looked at this like, and was reminded of the Tyrannosaurus sen- uh, sen- centuries? centuries. Oh yeah, those guys are dope. It's kind of like a combination of all the T Rex Rangers. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. Like the helmet, the helmet gives off Mighty Morphin, but the without the lips, it gives off like Dino Charge. Yeah, it's selling in the chat, Shinken Runner. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. But yeah, uh, the series will be getting. Is that meant to be a female Shinken Red? Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. There was one in both Shinken and Samurai. Oh, okay. Like yep. the, it was I... the older, the, the Red Ranger's older sister, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which fun, fun fact in Power Ranger Samurai, they just gave her the the proper Shinken Morpher. Nice. Instead of the, the flip phone with the LED yeah, light, yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, what's your morpher? Oh, it's a brush. That's good. So yeah, uh, Power Rangers Prime number one will be releasing November 13th, 2024. I, I want it, it now. I read it. I don't want it now. I want. It, I, I still need to finish. I want it later. I want it later because I'm like eight issues away from finishing the original run. Will it be on any of the current readers? It will be available on Kindle, on Kindle devices. You can buy it digitally through Amazon. And uh, I'm not sure. I believe it's on Omnibus. Okay. Boom Studios works with Omnibus. I'll have to correct you on that. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. I I'll I'll read it. I mean I I'll buy the collect. I'll, I'll buy the actual issues if I can't read it digitally. I I like to read things digitally. But mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Sounds good. Love it. Neat. All right. Well, it's a short news week. That's about it. All right. I told you to get more stories. Along everything else. Yeah. All right. Let's get into Gotchard. Gotchard. Oh. So, uh, before we started this, uh, we got Paul caught up because he hadn't watched the last four weeks of episodes. Yeah. Is there anything you want to comment on from previous episodes before we get into this week's? Um, it's been a real good period for suits. Like these suits are gorgeous. Jesus. I mean, like this week we saw another like. Uh, Spanner got his upgrade form. That yeah. uh, re- we'll, we'll talk about this week's in a yeah. bit, but, but anything uh, about uh, the previous re- ones. I really like Rene's new form. Well, uh, yeah. Um, I never, I never trusted Gary on for a fucking second because I'm not fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I he just continues to be a villain that I love to hate. I agree with you guys that his that his motivation seems kind of lame. But to me, that almost kind of amplifies him a little bit because 
dude. Such a like you're going to all this trouble for something so fucking stupid. Just say you're a dick bag and go for it. Like seriously. Something I've come a decision I've come to is Garion is a good villain for the charisma that he displays on screen. Mm. Watch, watching him say and do things is fun and entertaining. The problem is his end game is so fucking stupid. Yeah, and it all comes down to the fact that I like the fact that for all of his bluster, for all of his stuff, in the end, he's not very creative and not, in the end, not much. I mean, yeah. like, his his rivalry with Rene's father, in the end, he had to stoop to some petty, underhanded, stupid bullshit. Save my daughter! To take on a person that he knows for a fact that he can't beat like, you know, in a battle of competency. Like, he wants to be a better alchemist than him, but I've not seen any evidence other than him basically sneaking around and stealing shit mm. and not really working for anything and manipulating people around him that he can achieve on his own. So I think that that's a cool motivation. To, I think that's a cool little character tick for him that, to me, makes him an effective villain. A likable villain, not effective from a narrative perspective in what he can do, but in the end, I like how little he is for how Blusterful he is. He just can't that's a good way to put it. stand yeah. his half glasses bottle. No, I can't. <laughs> it makes me mad. It's not a monocle. <laughs> he's a he's a great, very compelling villain. He's got a lot of good character development. Fuck, I hate those half glasses. He's like drip, drip, choice, drip. like <laughs> choice of eyewear could be better. His entire outfit drippy as shit. Those half glasses make me mad. Maybe you just call him a glass. Maybe it's supposed to be a metaphor about how he doesn't see the world clearly. <gasps> I like that. Unless he's half the world. Still stupid, but oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> you know what? You just I'm gonna. A I'm gonna. Uh. <laughs> Who are you? Who are I'm Gary on. I'm, bleh, I'm bleh, Donald. Bleh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do this. Do that. Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> <laughs> I got the philosopher's stone. Nye, nye, nye. Anyways, Clotho remains fucking useless. <laughs> I, I'm sick and tired of her. Yeah, she's I, just doing nothing. Her character has no purpose. She's just been standing around doing jack shit. The biggest reaction related to Clotho that we I had this whole episode is. Holy shit, she still does have the Dread Driver! It's yeah. bullshit that Atropos and Lacasius, who were the two most interesting of the three are dead, Both and Clotho's the one who survives the everything. But see, here's Bullshit. The, but see, here's the thing, though, Lane. Much like with what I was saying with Garyon, maybe that's part of her character. Yeah. In the end... The survivor. She, yeah, but not even just that. Like, Atropo luck. Atropos it has her whole thing with uh, with Rene that we found out how, how they're, like, models of each other. And so, like, her character dynamic has always been built through Rene. In the uh, Lachesis has been going through an entire character arc this entire time, she, uh, and she's connected to Spanner. Uh, Clotho, Clotho has no one. No. Clotho has never had anyone. She's just fighting fodder. She's just there so someone has someone to fight. No, <laughs> she's the neglected middle child. In the end, like I didn't ever thought about it that yeah, way, but that's a neat that's way to think true. about she's it. She's the neglected middle child. Like it's she's the Jan of Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like middle child sure, the middle and <laughs> All she, in the end, her entire narrative, Atropos, Atropos, Atropos. In the end, her entire narrative seems to like she's just supporting everyone around her. She pines for her family she's to the, get back. She's together. the Meg Griffin. She's, <laughs> she's the one. Who, she's the one who's always pining to get the family back together. She's the shut one. up, Clotho. It's just that meme of like her being like, "Why do you guys all think you're better than me?" And it just shows everyone else like the different gotcha writers and characters. Yeah. But when you think about her mediocre mediocrity as being part of her trope and her role, it does give her something. When you look at her for, through that lens, it's a little more compelling than just I'm not doing anything. But yeah, I I I I've been looking at it through that perspective, and to me, it it doesn't make her the most co compelling character in the show. Yeah. But it, at the very least, it does give her a role. At least she still has the dread driver. <laughs> I found that. I haven't seen if, that in like fifteen episodes. If this was leading to some sort of big narrative payoff for Clotho, then I would say this is all intentional and well written, and applause to them. But I don't see her pulling a dramatic moment out of her ass in the last oh, episode. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I mean, like, if you want to give her anything out of the three of her sisters, she is the most competent fighter. She works hard. Like, out of... Uh, like Hufflepuff works hard. Exactly. Like, <laughs> don't shit on Hufflepuffs. I love There's Hufflepuffs. some powerful Hufflepuffs. I love Hufflepuff. Yeah. Um, so, going back to the top of the episode, so we see Spanner in the lab working on what we eventually see is his, his new driver form. And I love that he's like, 
this was based on Gotchard's igniter. It's no longer good enough for me. It's not good enough for my full potential. And I'm like, all right, well, by that logic, fuckface, build your own goddamn driver from scratch. Stop. <laughs> the driver you ended up with at the end of the episode is still just another Gotchard driver mod. That you've just taken the wires No, across. yeah, he just put a bunch of wires around it, and then he just manifested his, like, black flame willpower into it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what those, what the wires, yeah. what the purpose of the wires was. Well, it's because he was, like, trying he's to, like, just modify, but he's, he's, on it? he's just like, I can't do it the way Kyoko I, does it. I think that's it. I think that was just to show that he was holding up something that he had only just finished working oh, on. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. as a visual. It was a prototype. It's a visual thing, but it's, like, yeah. I find it hilarious to think that, like, it, all he really needed was the will of the black fire or whatever, so yeah. like, those wires just got burnt off immediately. Yeah. <laughs> or just, like, singed over with yeah. the new cover plate. Which would have been neat. What's that? It's my Amazon box. Opens up, and this is my new power up. <laughs> it was a really thrown away line at the time, but at one point when the random thug just shows up out of nowhere to fight them, Majade is like, "Oh, I'm I'm out of power, so I can't fight this episode." And I'm like, "So every time she gets a new form, she's just out of commission for an episode." Oh yeah, she did run like, out of power. I was shocked that they just straight up had her say like, "I can't go again so soon." Just let Atropos, like, take over for, like, a, a, a spell. And just Ma- fucking take it. So, so, yeah, Atropos is gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Majade is a power set with a refractory period, is what I'm hearing. No one's ever really gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, the, the, the main characters get attacked by the general public who are d- d- disenfranchised <laughs> with the common Riders. The most dangerous well, enemy of all! Like, the general hard. public! Yeah, we yeah, some they... of the people that they helped come in I try to convince them, and it's like all my nice music and everything. And then suddenly the blonde dude walked up, he's like, yeah, we should get him. And they're like, yeah, I get him! Yeah, yeah. fuck him! <laughs> oh no, our other dead of this enemy! Influencers! It's, it's, it's the, uh, it's the villagers from Shogatam. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so stay damn brain rot people! Yeah. And I, I mean, thinking that too. And I mean, yeah, I mean, like, the general public is the one like, enemy they'd never fight physically. How do I punch the general public? Yeah, how do I just beat up these civilians and not look like exactly <laughs> the monster they're calling me? Man, maybe there is a problem with the whole superhero idea. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> Fuck this city. Yeah. Fuck. So, then, so then Garyon has the balls to show up to fucking Hotaro's home, like the restaurant. Oh, yeah. I love that scene, because, like, Hotaro walks in and Garyon's, like, already there, and I just wanted so bad for him to go, Oh, Hotaro... Your father's home. Imagine they would drop that twist that that was his dad. Was oh that? my! We have one more episode and we still don't know who his father is. When the Never mom walked in, I was half expecting her to say something like, "No, you look your father's home." No, you know what this shit is? This is Deku's dad. <laughs> Where's Deku's dad? Oh, overseas. I, I gotta say, is this? Gotta say, like breaking into the house and just like chilling there. That, that was a cold move. <laughs> I loved it. Oh wow, you should have like you should have been like eating a meal, just be like, oh, yes. your mom cooks very well, Hotaro. <laughs> I feel like she cooked me a last meal before I murdered her. <laughs> and then she just walks in the door. Oh. I feel like we yeah. I feel like we we'd find out who Hotoro's dad is in like a like a V Cinema film or something like that, and I feel like he'd be analogous to Nicholas Flamel. <laughs> I mean, like, as silly as why that might sound. I have no idea why, but I thought you were going to say Nicholas Cage. No. no. Oh, you Nicholas Cage oh, Nicholas dad? Totoro, I'm your father. What about Nicholas Cage? Hey, Kenny? Shane. <laughs> I mean, you know, Nicholas Cage's first wife is Japanese. So. <laughs> you know, Ichi, now I'm just thinking, we're good. Really? No, no, she and I are good. I'm killing an I'm old killing man. I'm killing an old man tonight. I'm <laughs> killing an old man tonight. God. Oh, my, if you keep this up, I'm going to have to give you the smoke. <laughs> Why was he there again? Uh, just, just to threaten him. him. Just, yeah. to him. just to fuck with Threat, him. Threaten yeah. him. Look up. Look. Look. I can just step into your place whenever I want. No, yeah, that's, that's, that's about. I, I forgot if you like offered him. Just go to your. Or... Go up to your mom. Go on. Look how close I came to your mother without really trying. Whoa. And, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Jesus Christ. And yeah. then Gary proceeds to go on this fucking speech about like, you know why humanity loves gold because it's eternal, and all of us were immediately like. No, it's not. It's certainly not. It's valuable. Someone's clearly never played Minecraft. Gold armor is shit. You've been neglecting. It's rare and valuable, and it's malleable. You've been neglect. You've been neglecting your Shirley Bassey. It's diamonds are forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> shit. Can I go back? Can I make the world diamond instead? Big diamond. diamond! 
Diamond. Diamond Rado. <laughs> now, now, now I'm just thinking if this were like, his ringtone in America would be uh, quick as light and strong as steel. Yeah. Okay. My belt is no diamonds. Um. So we we also get this scene where like as Spanner's working on his belt, Gigis shows up and it's like. As we established, I can teach you how to use the black flame within you. And Spanner promptly responds with, As we established, you can go fuck yourself. (laughs) (laughs) To cheat alchemy is a power only one can achieve. But if we work together, I know we can discover the secrets. Can can we just go back? Can Can I just say one thing for a second? This isn't about this episode, but it's from the from one of the previous episodes. Spanner, it was when yeah, Hotaro. Spanner and Hotaro were fighting, and I and I was watching them fight, and I'm just like, he's Hotaro B one Kenobi and Spanakin Skywalker, <laughs> and the two of them are just having their. Fun. From my perspective, the alchemists and Kennys are evil. Then you are lost. It's over, Spanner. I have a final form. No, it's over, Spanner. Spanakin. I have the moral high ground. Spanakin, Giggies is evil. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, yes, yes, take that song, but with the recorder over it. <laughs> <laughs> there absolutely has to be a recorder cover of that song on YouTube. <laughs> Just Duel of the Fates plays throughout the entirety of their oh, fight. But played on kazoo. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. It's so oh. yeah. But yeah, it, oh, sorry, continue. That was a bit of a... So yeah, Spare and just have a nice moment. I ship him. Yeah, that I was ship him. absolutely on purpose, just in time for her to go. I got it! I got it! I got it! Blam! 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 And like I was saying, like she's she's about to die. Look at that framing. Yeah, I wasn't expecting her to literally get shot. <laughs> she got mm, what you said. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah, and the thing she caught was no, she really did. Out of fucking nowhere, Garion just like synthesizes his own evil version of of Nijigon, El Dragon, yeah. which is as we know Spanish for it. the it's Dragon. El Dragon, it's a pun on El Dorado, the city yeah. of gold. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you told me that I was voiced, it. if you told me that was voiced by Bakugo, I believe it. Right. <laughs> it probably is. Just him doing like a darker voice. <laughs> um. But yeah, so I do like that Spanner in this episode goes OG Valvarad twice, and both times they skip the fucking henchin sequence. It's the penultimate episode, Ichi. <laughs> Gotta get there, right? <laughs> yeah. You okay, man? I like that yeah, sorry, escape. my cell phone fell behind the camera. I like that escape no. uh, with Mad Wheel, though. I never saw that before. I'm just like, oh, he could do that. No, that was cool. It's a car, so it makes sense. They just summon Mad Wheel. <laughs> that, that, now it just turns into the scene from Dark Knight instead of Rachel. It's just, ah, can I just... <laughs> yes, Selen, as I was saying earlier. So, like, he creates El Dragon, which, as we all know, is Spanish for the dragon. The dragon. <laughs> the dragon! What the hell is that? <laughs> Why must I fail in every attempt at alchemy? <laughs> Oh, that's, a really, that's, a really nice, that's a really nice toy gimmick. Why does my look like that? <laughs> oh, oh no, uh, there. A perfect final form. It's like Rainbow Gotcha. Why, is it Why does look my like look like that? Because his his suit is just a kit bash of older common writer suits. Just like painted chrome. Oh my god. Doesn't your shirt, doesn't that tattoo of yours say die dragon die? No. <laughs> That's true. Dragon. 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 The. <laughs> I care about henchin sequences. It's all I've ever cared about. <laughs> we know. So we, anyway, we were there anyway, for King Oger. So anyways, <laughs> fucking Valvarai Kuragane is the fucking coolest suit in this goddamn show. Uh, it's pretty great. I love it. I've been waiting until this moment to complain about Valvarai Kuragane because as cool as it is, it has it has added to itself the fatal flaw or, that plagues so many other or, common writers. He's named it after himself. No, no, no. But if you think about it, his name, translates to Black Steel, so you could just call it. But Valver- he's not black. No, but it could be Valverad Black Steel. So. If it was just Hagane yeah. or Tetsu or some other word for steel, if it Kurogane means Black Steel and it's not black. Anyways, it's, at best, it's false advertising. Also, this guy did the dickest. Douchiest move of writing his name on the driver. Oh, yeah, he etched it his driver. I thought that was badass. That is a but car yeah, thing. He's got like a purple like scouter targeter thing. It's like it's this nice silver color. He 
fucking the shot of just the two valva crushers just fucking jamming on the back back of them. The so me- cool. The no, I, I'm gonna, you're, yeah, yeah, the mechanical noises. The robot the noises. He's got fucking repulsors. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, it's uh, just Terminator. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Lane built you a suit. Like, Lane Toei <laughs> built you a suit. It was the second last episode of the show, and they finally dropped, like, something that I actually thoroughly enjoyed. I hope you legend. enjoy the two episodes it fucking no, appears okay, in! okay, because we're going to get the Valvarads V Cinema movie. Where all three of them are in it. <laughs> the Valve Cinema? Yep. <laughs> Almost certainly. No, I'm with Lane. I really like how it looks. Its presentation is really cool. So yeah. cool. So cool. I it like is, the, the one purple cool. eye. I love how it dual wields the rushers. And there was yeah. also one moment before he gets that where he's in OG Valvarad where he not only dual wields the re- Valva rushers, but at one point he combines them like he's a fucking FF. Oh, and like a Naginata mode? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what they would call it. Yep, that's what they would call it. Even though it's a swallow. Yeah. yeah. That was This was the basis of the new Viper class in 14. Oh, they I have know. dual swords that combine. Oh, I'm well aware. Yes. Um. So yeah, uh, Valvarad Kurogane proceeds to melt Gigas and then... As Gigas dies, he calls Spanner his successor, and I'm wondering what the hell that's about. Well, I think well because well, he was the black, like, black flame. Yeah, because he, like, he was like, "Oh, I meant to the black flame, and you inherited it." Oh, my favorite part about like Spanner's black flame is as he creates this new driver, the black flame turns into silver flame, and my one reaction to that is, "Kingdom Hearts is light." <laughs> can I just can I just say something right now? So about it, I think an episode back we heard uh, the previous. Uh, King, like what? What are the what are the kings called? Okay, the Hades kings. The Hades kings, sure. The previous Hades king stating, "I gave up my humanity." That was this. yeah. I mentioned that when we talked about that and episode. And they all, when they explode, result in a philosopher's, philosopher's stone. stone's shard, which leads me to believe that the creation of the philosopher's stone, because they were previous uh, to me <laughs> in my in my in my thoughts, they were previously out, like pr- like proto alchemists. Who managed to create philosopher's stones? The and three that, of them used to be human and, and alchemized themselves into the forms. Exactly, we saw. it's kind, it's it's kind of like the Roshio and everything else thing with, from from Gaim, where like you know when you look at their design, when you look at the final bosses' designs, they're all clearly analogous to the to the three prime rangers. So, I would love writers. I would love a Gotchard V cinema where we go into the past and explore the lives of these three humans sure. before they became Hades kings and they were their own trio of writers. Sure. So, but cool. what I'm what I'm getting at is because the Al- the, the, the the Philosopher's Stone is supposed is in this universe like the foundation of alchemy and everything's about creating it again and stuff yeah. like that. All alchemy and all alchemists in some way, are like derived from derived from the the alchemy that created these these Hades kings. Yes, and it's... that's why Spanner is his successor because his alchemy is the most similar to uh, to what's it's, his. It's the more powerful, modernized, updated version of the same power source. That exactly. They All were I'm gonna say with. is that's what I'm saying. Is that if Gurion's final defense in the final episode isn't a giant three headed dog named Fluffy, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Oh no. <laughs> man. The final weapon is just a flute. <laughs> so you know about Fluffy. Speaking of Garion, so as Gigi's dies, Garion shows up to go, Oh, no, 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 this isn't your Final Form debut episode. It's, it's mine. mine. <laughs> Proceeds to yeah. turn the three stones into the Eldora driver. Oh, I hate that name. And I love it. No. Anyone in Japan has already seen this because he used the same driver in the movie to turn into Kamen Rider Dorado, which was the red version. And this one in the series is a different power set with the same driver. Uh, so this is Common Rider Eld, apparently. Oh. And yes, that name sucks. Mm. I was hoping it well, would be like El Dorado. El Dorado. The movie form should have been so Dorado, cool. and this one should have been El Dorado. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they're doing the same shit again that they did in Geats, where the final boss rider... Has, is just using the, a belt, a variation of a previous belt, and then has several different forms that are not very different from each other. Premium Bandai, Premium Bandai. Premium Bandai. But uh, what I wanted to point out is, so the f- suit from the movie, Dorado, the chest piece on that is a terribly <laughs> repainted reuse of Grease Perfect Kingdom suit. Oh, well, and Perfect this Perfect one, Kingdom. the chest piece and the boots on Eld are repainted from X-Rex. Someone in, the, someone, someone in the chat just wrote L Eld and Eldie. <laughs> <laughs> Eld Eldie. Oh my god. 
Yeah, and also, Min he pulls a fucking sheet out to reveal that he's trapped Minato in a stone statue. I, I was wondering... A statue. I was wondering that whole time. Who's under that? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, th I thought for a second it was going to be like Isis, because it's like... Because, you know, she's dead now, so... Uh, get, get stuff I don't know. Give it a bit. We'll probably get a director's cut of this finale on the Tokusatsu fan club. Probably. <laughs> That'll teach you from wiping everyone's memories, Minato. <laughs> well, guys, in the end, we're all just going to find out that the final boss of this series, the person who's been hiding Garyon's entire plot the entire time, the real mastermind behind the entirety of Gotchard, is in fact Mike Myers' gold medal. Yeah. So, <laughs> Yeah, I Mike, love gold! Yeah, Mike, we're gonna find out Mike Myers is in Japan. He, he decided to team up with Toei. And, uh, yeah, he's just, he's the final boss of Gotchard. As gold member. Garyon's just Oh, also, there's a big, giant, golden Rubik's Cube in the sky. Oh, Garyon's yeah. just oh, oh, yeah. broke. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing weird about that. That's every day. There's yeah. always something for See, I see, I see the regular Rubik's, giant Rubik's Cube right now. <laughs> I love how when that showed up, at first we thought it was just a weird perspective, and you were like, hey, that cube looks giant, and then they cut to the second shot. Oh, it is giant. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a giant cold cube. <laughs> you know, my brain just went to, before time began. There was no <laughs> the cube. all spark cube. <laughs> just giant. Show me what you got. <laughs> I like what I you got. To see what you got. <laughs> the cube. You yep. failed me. It's a game. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just quickly comment on design wise of Kamen Rider Eld. It's Good much. Fine. the 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 weird bony toothy jaw. I like that. I don't I don't think it looks cool, but I do think it makes a good final villain look. That, that's what I was going to say. This is clearly trying to be more of a monster yeah. rider than a, a rider. Yeah. You know? I just don't like the red on him. Mm. That's the only thing It's that... because it's a variant of the movie suit of Dorado. Yeah. The chest piece is also way too bulky. A little too if bulky, little yeah. The, the chest piece is too bulky. It's very bulky. I don't like what's hanging off of his head. The, oh, the horns? <laughs> yeah. Like, is that a horn? There are okay. horns on the side of the well, helmet. It kind of looks like They're the horns very like gnarled. around the head. Yeah, it's, it's a lot, but I like I, I like it. A bit. On I, one I hand, I'm not a huge fan of the horns, but they do also kind of remind me of the horns on the helmets of the judges from FF12. I like the jewel, like the giant red jewel on his head. That's cool. Yeah. I do think the faceplate on the movie suit looks better. If you think of the final boss of the, of uh, a Realm Reborn. <laughs> oh yeah, Gaius. Yeah, you can call this form Golden Gaius. <laughs> yeah. GG. Yeah. I decided to train. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, interesting episode overall, I think. A lot of, a lot happened, and I... next episode is the finale. There's a storm of dread troopers. The, what I wrote down as the final Kemi War, and no doubt Gotchard's gonna pull a new version of Steam Hopper out of his ass. I... Spoilers, we Maybe. already saw it. Yeah. Oh, no, apparently that was fake. That was a Photoshop. Oh, that was apparently a Photoshop? I just Photoshop. that was fan art. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm... I'm looking forward to it. I I don't dislike Gotchard as much as some of the others in in here, and so it's like eh, I'll I'll see it end. And I oh, well, we're gonna like, see I, it end. Well, sure, but I mean, like I'm excited to to see I mean, how it. I mean, it's like I think it I'm be, excited to see it end. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I, but I <laughs> see how it ends. Yeah, saying. and I think and I I think it's it's worth a little bit more than the you guys are saying. See, I, I kind of like it. See, I was see this guy. Long. I'm ready for this guy. Yeah. <laughs> what were you saying, Emily? I just said I like Gotchard. I also like Gotchard. I also like Gotchard. Yeah, Ichi. <laughs> and I'm just and thinking... Me. But I'm looking forward to Gav a lot. I, I'm, it just makes me think, alright, this is Hasegawa. What's going to happen to the main character? Is he going to, A, get his memory wiped, B, get sucked into a black hole, or C, get killed but then return later in another place and then we'll eventually see him in another movie? Or D, all three. No, they're gonna wish on the Dragon Balls so that he be re that Garyon be reincarnated as a good person, and then Hotoro is gonna train him so that he can fight him later. <laughs> also, Lane, I'm sorry, I just saw this now. I want a Hanajiro Kemi card because eh. same writer. Someone can make it. Here's what I'm thinking. You know, what we haven't seen in a long fucking time the Ouroboros world. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna. I I don't think this is actually what's gonna happen, but what I want to happen is. After the battle, Hotaro is so, like, he, like, expends all his energy doing his final attack, and it, like, destroys all the Kemis. Sends all the Kemis there. And it sends Hotaro into the Ouroboros world. He lives, with the, he lives with the Kemis. And you think he's doomed until someone walks up to him, and Hotaro looks up. Dad? Credits. <laughs> yeah. And that will lead, that'll lead into the V-Cinema, of getting Hotaro home and his dad home. That could be good. <laughs> right? Yeah. 
Maybe that's where his dad's been the entire time, trapped in the Ouroboros world. We'll Will have to see. Hotaro end up being his own father? <laughs> I think God, I hope not. Man, I God, I hope so. Go, I <laughs> That'd be interesting. That. Dare I live the Oedipus dream? <laughs> 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 uh, all right. Well, let's get into Boom Boom Jer. Boom Boom Jer. That guy. I love how the, even the villain trio were like, you know, screw you, Ken and You Lord. suck. We like Mavericks better. And I'm like, they're the fandom. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they're us. You represent us. Uh, they're Team Rocket is what they are. Yeah. yeah. yeah say that they're all Team Rocket. They're very Team Rocket-y. I miss Mad Rex. You all miss Mad Rex. I, there's, this, there's this line from Sakito right at the top, top of this episode that everyone just completely ignores and glosses over. So they're all preparing for this fireworks festival, and Sagi Joe's like, the only things I don't hate about Earth are curry and fireworks. Nice. And nobody calls them on that. No. I mean, it's pretty relatable statements, honestly. <laughs> but no, I love that the show is just aware of how much we hate Cannonborg, to so much to the point that they flash back to Cannonborg and Mad Rex having a conversation, and Mad Rex just says, you suck. <laughs> Which to me tells me that like they, they intended for this character. Oh wow, yeah, you are not. Yeah, I think they've literally yeah. written that we like wrote him as a character. We just not supposed to ever. Yeah, give we a wrote shit him about. poorly as a joke. Yeah, <laughs> and then now, now they're bringing back Bad Rex. So well, that's funny. not writing poorly. That's yeah, like, no, yeah. I'm. I'm I, that was a joke that I said. Sure. Um. So yeah, the the Cedars call out Cannonborg. If you're our captain, why are you never on the front lines fighting? So that's not what captains do. <laughs> <laughs> generally yeah. coordinate and like make things better so that they're foot soldiers. So can... he's still a bad captain, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But he's doing his job. Yeah. <laughs> so uh the ISA detects uh the weapon that Cannonborg calls in, a giant trophy oh themed God. satellite named Jackie Hoy Hoy. <laughs> is that a reference? That has to be hey, a reference. All I can say is that when I saw the silhouette and it was like I was just like Mier? I thought the it same looked, thing. It didn't look like a candle opera. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, like, Jackie Hoy Hoy. Yeah, no. What the fuck is Jackie Hoy Hoy? I don't know. It's man. gotta be. It's gotta be a reference, but I don't know to what. I don't know if about cars. <laughs> yeah, and also Taya drops a line that no one else reacts to. We're not done building our space fighting boom boom cars, and I'm like, excuse me. I mean, at this point in the game, can you really Are they blame them? Those? <laughs> I like. I've been playing No Man's Sky a lot this week, getting back into it for the first time since it came out. So hearing the thought of the... I'm just picturing them becoming like a squadron of fucking dogfighting space vehicles. And I'm like, yes, let's fucking go! Ichi, the final lap is through space. Yeah! <laughs> they were talking about bringing back the Boom Boom Grand Prix, which is a race through space. Yeah. So let's do it! Hell yeah. And then speaking of, we also haven't seen the highway dimension in so long because Yarukar has his goddamn highway beam now. Hey, wait a second. When was the last time we saw cars go into space? Uh, Turbo 2 in space. <laughs> uh, nice parallel, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Uh, they're, they, all divide, they all divvy up to go hunt down Cannonborg. And in the process of doing so, Taya buys a satellite? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, that, that's an Iron Man Bruce Wayne thing that's, to do. No, but millions of dollars! Which is immediately funny as shit, because I'm pretty sure the satellite he just bought is the one that Jackie Hoy Hoy then crashes through. Yeah, that's the point. No, yeah, that was the whole thing they were trying to do. I, I don't think. think they explicitly said it was that satellite, but I like to imagine it is, even if it isn't. But that... what? But wasn't the plan for buying the satellite specifically? We'll crash it. So I like... thought the point of buying the satellite was to like detect where Cannonborg was. But they... that I'll... was during the sequence of we're looking for Cannonborg. I'll say this: there were formula and uh, and rally driving uh, racing like racers of note named. Uh, Chris Hoy and Jackie Stewart. Oh, so, oh, so it's yeah. named after and, and racers. I, I just looked it up, but like me and Gar were saying, like, oh, it's got like huge like Zeton vibes from Ultraman. And yeah, apparently it heavily references Zeton. Okay. Vibes, so. I, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. I just I just love the idea of like Taya buying a satellite, then we see Jackie crash through it, and I just imagine Taya going, 
Well, fuck. <laughs> There's <laughs> 10 million yen gone. <laughs> you know what? He's got enough that he can just throw that at a problem. Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought that's literally what it was, was him like, I bought the satellite to crash. And then I specifically to- moved it into the no, path so no, 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 it crashed into Jack. Like, I, th- I thought they bought the one that was going to go into its path anyway. I could be wrong. Oh, my but, God. Uh, okay, so... A typical weather satellite carries a price tag of usually $290 million. A spy satellite, which probably what they used, might cost an additional $100 million. So he spent $100 million on a fucking satellite. How rich is this man? Just to have it get crashed into an explosion. What the fuck? He's rich enough to do what he needs to do. His money is unlimited based on the plot. (laughs) <laughs> this motherfucker has Beyonce money, okay? He doesn't run... A, it'll be a plot point when he runs out of money. So what, like $100 million is like fucking like a hundred bucks to him? We, he already had that episode where he was crushed under his own wealth's weight. Oh my god, <laughs> that was the best. I, I don't understand. How were you able to buy the satellite off the government? Bought the government. Bought the government. <laughs> I have... like I inherited the internet. Everything can be bought and sold what for the right, right oil! Okay. What's your, Watch me find out that, like, the ISA, like, Taya owns the ISA. <laughs> I would love, I would love for a Christmas Carol version with Taya. <laughs> yeah. like, he, we, we, we've seen Taya up until now. He's the only thing. He eats Christmas. You there, boy in the street. What day is it? Why, it's Boom Boom Day, sir. <laughs> no, boy, it's just like, him a boom no, boom car. we find out that he hates Christmas and like they do a whole Christmas carol thing. <laughs> and in the end, he still hates Christmas. But the moral is, and that's OK, because, you know, I can hate things. <laughs> I'm not hurting anyone. In fact, I help most of you. Why are we, are, we are due to have a Christmas episode. Yeah. <laughs> at some point. A Halloween episode where Dario and Boom Boom dress up. Yeah. I can't believe you spent that much money. Satellite. <laughs> the ghost of Boom Boom Pass. <laughs> it would be the three Hachillians. Yeah. <laughs> As the ghosts. Oh yep. my god. Yep. Yep. Yes. Oh my god, make it so that Yarukar's the last one. Exactly. Yes. exactly. Yarukar is Tiny Tim. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Yarukar has to be the ghost of Christmas future. Oh, Taya is Tiny Tim. Just so that we just so that we can see Yarukar in like a tiny little cloak. <laughs> Or, yeah. or, you know what would be even better? If it actually looks like the ghost of Christmas past, like it's... It, oh, just uh, with the Yarukar's face? No, not even. It's like, it's yeah. flying around in just the cloak. Just holding like, and, yeah. yeah. Oh. But the cloak is being held up by Yarukar's flying. <laughs> Instead of it being called a Christmas yeah. Carol, it's called a Christmas Carl. <laughs> no. Carl. Oh, Carl. That teaches people. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Uh, shit. It's been a while since I've heard so, that one. So yeah, everyone realizes Cannonborg's a fucking piece of shit. It's great. <laughs> they they managed to stop Jackie from doing whatever the hell it was Jackie. gonna do. I love the shot. I love of when Sakita. it's called Jackie. <laughs> Damn, Jackie! <laughs> so stop Sa- getting all the gasoline! <laughs> Sakito crashes. Get that oil out of here! Sakito crashes through a window and just snipes Cannonborg at the last second. Yep. Just that slow mo. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom shit. Just... We got like a oh, yeah, flurry rush. We, we got like a montage of it became twenty four for a second where like yeah. they said oh in forty eight hours or something. Yeah, one hundred percent. It turned into a full on parody of twenty four because twenty four is insanely popular in Japan. I can believe that. Uh, I like. I watched the first two seasons of twenty four. I liked it. I like oh. the Simpsons parody episode twenty four. <laughs> yeah. But just, yeah, like, I like that, like, we're, all, like, everyone's doing their own thing. <laughs> Fucking Joe put out, like, an APA or something. Like, an APB. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I like, I like they all use their talents to, like, yeah. help track the camera. You know, yeah. ties his money. So. Ties his money. I just like that uh, pink's running around. Have you seen this man? And it's a picture. Have you seen this boy? <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not even a picture of Cannonborg. It's a picture she drew of him. <laughs> Well, she's gonna get a picture of him. So, so you know so what? It's like, it's like a giant big head, and like his arms or legs are just sticking out. But you know what? That works for her because all of her jobs have literally just been interacting with the public, asking them questions, or offering them okay. things. Yeah, we were saying it's yeah. using and, all of their yeah. like and, techniques, and that's why I was going to make the joke while we were watching. Oh man. Could it be funny if she was a woman of the night as one of her jobs? Oh, my oh God. no. Oh, yeah, I felt so bad. So Cannonborg, like, is, but... Cannonborg, like, puts, like, control rods on the three of them to control them to fight. And I'm like, you asshole. Am I the... And then it turns out they're no, actually no, no, decently no. powerful. Am I the only one who, when I look at the three seaters, I, like, I see them as Jesse James and Meowth, mm. but I assign them the hen- the voices of the henchmen from Big Bad Beetleborgs? <laughs> Noxic Typhus and, and the... 
Yeah. Zira? Zara. Zara. Yeah. Zara. Yeah. yeah. I just, in my head, I assigned <laughs> it took me them longer than it should have. Yeah, let's say, with you? <laughs> get, get up there and age, eh? Eh, Ten years of doing the show. I have become agey. 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 Super agey. Super agey. <laughs> That'll be uh, at the yeah, next then, 500 episodes. Eventually, eventually the three <laughs> series, like, 1, eventually the three series, like, break their control, and then they start fighting Cannonborg themselves because they're just sick and tired of him. I love Yarkar just, like, breeds fire on him, and I was like, holy shit. All man. right. That's awesome. It, it would have been funny if they start using abilities. It's like, how did they do all this? Oh, they could have done this this, this entire time. They're just too lazy to yeah. do it. Yeah. They I, just, I they have, just well, they were, they're also under orders at that point as well. Yeah. Like, like, it's just... Yeah, you can only you can only kick the dog so like much. Cannonboard, Cannonboard yeah. like threatened to like destroy the planet, and he, they're just like, "What? Don't don't do that. We like it here. <laughs> Mad Rex wouldn't do this." <laughs> yeah, well, you know Mad Rex isn't here. <laughs> yeah, it just turns into that internet feed. Mad Rex wouldn't do this. <laughs> don't say that name in my presence. I am the king. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he fucking hates Mad Rex so much. Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> I never have to deal with this with Mad Rex. What'd you say? I said bad sex. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm sure you have lots of that. <laughs> I'm a little upset about a bad sexual episode. Well, you're getting older. It'll happen more and more. That's still what I guess. That was a liar, liar reference. So did we mention the, the fact that Cannonborg mentioned the biggest bad scene? Yeah, so he takes uh, Violet. Yeah, he takes Sakito aside and tries again to hire him for a job to kill Waterido Spindo, who we understand Who's is the boss of Spindo. the Hushimians. Can I can I bring up the other thing that that uh, the Cannonborg said, where when he's like, "How did you know where I was going to be?" and they were, and he said, "The ISA gave us the information." The ISA. That's yeah. Impossible. So apparently the head of the ISA has some connection to the Hashilians, which we might learn about next episode. That's what I'm thinking, because uh, uh, What's-Her-Face got a got a super secret call from her superiors when they found yeah. out that, they, that she was helping the Boon Boomers. So, so yeah. secret, she had to punch in a, her own code just to answer that call. Which yeah. is probably I Love Boondario-kun. <laughs> I, I was debating going back and like figure, seeing what her passcode was, but I'm not that kind of guy. I, 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 I like... I still like to think that she has a giant, like, plushie of Boondario at home, and she goes to bed and she cuddles with it. Of course very she does. Mofum. Of course she does. Boondario's her, yeah, Boondario's her Mofum. Boondario's birthday, birthday code. <laughs> I didn't think about it, but you're right. It appears to be a Mecha Mofum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been making jokes that she's robosexual, but I think she just really, really likes him. Like, he is cute. Yeah. He is that adorable. Specific, that specific robot, she's not into every robot. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can like a thing just because it's cute. Yeah, that could have been, that that's could have, the thing. Yeah. Like, I'm actually on Emily's side where I think I don't think it's a romantic interest. I think just think like it. She just likes him because he's adorable. She thinks he, he he's, is adorable. Well, think of it. He's so pure. Yeah, yeah. he's such a good he's guy. Ne he's never. He's just angry. the goodest boy. He's yeah, he, to make curry for he everyone. Says, hey everyone, how's it going? He is legit. <laughs> All right. He's legit. Just alpha. He's wait, wait. If, <laughs> if this is true, that that yeah, that she has a Boondaro body pillow though, <laughs> that. Would yeah yeah maybe yeah I want to be why is it crusty <laughs> no. so anyway how is it crusty so anyway since Boon oh. Violet has like I'm the not most gonna lie, when you said that I just imagined it being a body full of crusty the clown <laughs> hey hey that's, that's like gotta exist crusty. too <laughs> Girl, uh, squeeze it hey hey sure it... <laughs> yeah, ah you're so, killing me <laughs> so we know Sakito has the most beef with uh, uh Cannonborg so like it's so poetic that he's the one to finish him I off, really love that unquote. but yeah so Tyag like gives them a bunch of like their weapons including the ah! <laughs> yeah <laughs> we've all gotten very addicted to just screaming ah! you know what it looked like to me mm -hmm. in my head when like at the council of Elrond when they said you have my bow and you have my axe I thought they were literally <laughs> going to give it to Frodo you have That's my what that was. you have my wheel gun and my wrench sword and yeah. my so firefighting they gun give a bunch of weapons so like all right go kick this guy's ass which and is yeah which yeah, we can cool fight the firefighting gun we we the 119 gun we continue to see is fucking busted oh it's oh. so i pretty sure i saw it actually shoot fire this episode speaking of which the roll call yeah, yeah, you got a version of the roll, the stock roll call with Boon Red One One Nine, which was very cool. Yeah. It was one, cool one, to have nine. that as an alternate form be in the roll call. I didn't yeah. think that they normally, <laughs> normally do that. Do you think the reason why the One One Nine gun can shoot fire is because you fight fire with fire? 
Sure. Yes. Why not? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just like the I he had. No, I'm not kidding. I genuinely think that's what it is. It's just well, like the he had gun from Forza. It put out fires, but it could also actually shoot fire. Oh, I love that thing. It's just like the toy was so dinky. Yeah. Um, when I saw Sakito as Boon Violet wielding the the show blaster, I was half expecting him to get his own one one nine super form. That would have been cool. I think it's because Taya was still morphed with the one one nine suit on. Yeah, yeah, and it's because he doesn't have... Actually, no, he doesn't need to put the Boon Changer in it to transform. He no, just he just uses it to power it up. Yeah, make it faster. But I think since all right, since Taya is still transformed with it, uh, Violet can't use it. I don't know if it's required, but I would like to see someone shop Boon Violet 119. Like a purple version of it? Yeah, with the same red armor and shit, but yeah. the undersuit is still purple. That'd be cool. Okay, so the red armor just over violet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, still make it look like a fire truck, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe sure. just the full violet version. I don't know. Either would be fine. I, don't know. I think all violet would work better. Yeah, it would look better for sure. I'm, I'm just wondering, like in canon, which version would happen? I think it would be the red on top of violet because in the end, it's, it's designed for Taya. It's a pre-prepared suit. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it goes over his red suit. It's meant to be flush because like. Taya is supposed to use it, but yeah, it'll be red armor on top of anyone. It's a pretty fucking sick fight, too. Oh, yeah. right. Cannonborg pulls out, he turns his goddamn arms into swords. Yeah, he goes <laughs> all he Doc can do on, that. He goes all Doc Ock on, on himself. Oh, yeah, I just love how a villain stuff. named Cannonborg didn't really have a cannon. He had swords. Even his name is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about him is a lie. Oh, yeah. Cannonborg sucks. <laughs> the only thing he had that was close to a projectile was shooting tentacles out of his shoulder. Damn what? it, that might be the reason why I associate the 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 three seaters with the Beetleborg henchman voices because their boss is called Cannonborg. <laughs> <laughs> Cannonborg! Cannonborg! Blast! Cannonborg! 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 It is I, the purple Cannonborg! <laughs> now, now I just want Boom Violet just to. Uh, all right, Canborg, back to the comics with you. <laughs> <laughs> Your race is ended. <laughs> That's pretty good. You're dead last. Um, so yeah, Boon Violet. I thought you were just gonna say your, your race, race has ended. As <laughs> your race has. I'm, I'm race. gonna end your race. You know what? what? Cannonborg. Yeah. You know what? Uh, head cannon. Head cannon. Cannonborg is racist. Yeah. 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 That, that actually tracks. <laughs> but it means that he hates Did racing. Did you just mean head, head cannonborg? He's racist because he hates racing. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Emily. Head cannonborg. Head cannonborg. No, I disapprove of the concept. You should just say theory. What a sentai dude. So anyway, uh, Violet uses the Zoon Zoon Blaster and quote-unquote finishes him off. But of course, this is Sentai. He can't die without growing big. <laughs> yep, that I was mean, the rules. Well, they, they, no, they, they had a fun yeah, twist. Yeah, makes him big. Yeah, yeah. they had a like, He's like, because they're all, he kind of like, oh, guys, help me. It's like, no, fuck you, you're on your own. And Yarko's like, yeah, here, no, take this. No, what no, shit what bag? he was going to do was he was going to use the others in the trio as his guinea pigs but then Yarokar just outright said no. Yeah. No you. Yeah, he Uno reverse man. carded him. Yeah. Literally yeah, yeah. no you. Yeah, it was awesome. And then he became a giant. Yeah. Yeah. And then he started pulling up more weapons that he could have used in the actual fight the first yeah, time. He, yeah, he gets this like really like impenetrable shield that like counters everything. And shoulder tentacles. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think the implication was that like that shield was taking, like, they kept blasting that shield and nothing was happening, and then he turned that shield into a blast that went back to them. I think it's kind of implied that he was, like, taking the energy from their attacks and then rebounding Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Typ typical villain move. Could yeah, be. it is. But, like, I, I like the idea that, like, for how hateable Cannonborg is, shockingly effective? Because, like, yeah. you know, he, he managed to stay alive for quite a bit. He's one of the main general. Like, I mean, as far, he's definitely the main general so far. Yeah. Right? But, so. Kind, but, like, his design and his motif and his, like, you know, modus operandi for how he does things leads me to believe that he's the weakest general, though. For sure. Like, That's he, why but he never... it's mind over matter. Exactly. He's but a I different mean, style of general. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's definitely the weakest. He had to make a shield around himself. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. You can't hit me! And then the Boom Boongers pulled something that I was not fucking ready for. Holy I, shit. I just love that the lot, the one line of dialogue just like, all right, everyone combine, find a spot. Go. It's it's all it, the cars. It's like that thing when like you have to pile into a minivan. Okay, just get in there. It's wherever like, you fit. It's like the midpoint of King Oger when all of the all like literally all of the shoe gods were piloted by civilians and oh, they yeah, just, God, King Oger. And, 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 stack them on. Stack them on, boys. 
I, th I think the best example of that is Tokyo Rainbow, where literally they just take the Hyper Russia, stand it up, and all of them just... Poof, yeah. all, all in the front. Yeah. I, I still miss Wild Tosai Dodeka King. That was a clusterfuck. I'm thinking, I'm, like, I'm thinking about what you were saying. I'm like, because that's what children would do. Just, yeah. eh, Wild eh, Tosai eh, Dodeka eh, King was such a clusterfuck that they had to make... The two legs just out of eight Zord cubes. I still, I still miss fucking good cool Kaiser VSX. Uh, no, that, that was so stupid. I loved it. It was I, so. It was good in terms of power. That one power wasn't the most clusterfucky, but it was the stupidest combination I've seen in a long time. Kaiser. The thing couldn't even move when it was all combined. I also like that they used the construction vehicles as like leverage in the as back. A, yeah, as like grounding. Yeah, I almost, I'm almost like. Almost slightly tempted to buy all the rest of the fucking mech line just so I can fucking recreate this shot. I just so asked cool. you, hey, do you have the monster stuff? You're like, oh no, I'm good. I got police. No, I'm saying tempted. Yeah, but no, exactly. I have police. That's I don't even know if we can call this a combination because well, it's not like, a combo, but it like, didn't have like a Megazord or Ultra Zord name. They just refer to it as the Bakuage Formation Full Throttle Edition. Yeah, it's more like a like, yeah, it's just more like, like an attack mode. Yeah, it's more like well, it's more like a strategic. Formation than it is yeah. anything else. Yeah, yeah. Fuck formation cool. is a better word yeah. than that. Yeah. No, hang on. What if this is? What if this leads to Boondario making that champion, that champion car, that does create their Ultra Zord. That's and that'll create the Ultra Zord that was in the silhouette of the first. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah. So this happen. is yeah. sort of like the tease of like, well, if we put all of our powers together, we can actually do something. Yeah. We've been making all of these off things to solve situations. What it, like what? What do they all? What does it look like when they all combine into it? Into itself. Yeah. Ataro in the Discord is brings up a good thing worth highlighting. Safari and Marine have to rest on the flipped up hip parts because there aren't enough attachment rails on this clusterfuck. Whoops. Yes. <laughs> Listen, and, not every component is necessary. And can I just say that that, that, that I I love that the solution was to shoot sharks at him. Like it's, <laughs> that because, was the first thing they tried when he put up his impenetrable barrier. Exactly. Dolphin, fire the sharks! <laughs> dolphin jumping sharks. Yeah, that was a fun little weird shot. <laughs> yeah, I, I I love the fact that all of the strongest solutions that they've come up with is like, ah yes, blank, the best car, and all the blanks are animals. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes, my, a lion, my favorite automobile. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we get the full throttle formation, and then they fire a gigantic goddamn bazooka beam. So fucking cool. Which sends Cannonborg out into space, crashing right into Jackie Hoi Hoi. Yes. <laughs> thereby I love that name. Thereby, oh. terrible. Thereby killing... Hey, Jackie! Thereby Jackie Hoi Hoi! <laughs> thereby killing two birds with one Cannonborg. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I'm glad, I'm glad he's gone. Fuck that guy. Cannon Borg got turned into a cannon ball. They'll see Ooh. me next episode. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then Madrex. And I am a ghost. Or <laughs> am I? <laughs> yes. Ghost Madrex. So <laughs> wasn't this a festival episode? <laughs> yeah, so they oh, finished yeah, the fight festival. and go have the actual festival. They have fireworks and they're boons your fireworks. Firework. Yeah, you want to say what you said? What the uh, Oh yeah, like I, when those fireworks are going off, I just it, like when I see fireworks in movies, especially this kind of media, I'm just picturing two guys in the back going, "Boom, boongers, bulk and skull." <laughs> Van Halen's just playing in the back. That's what dreams are made of. We gotta edit that. Take that footage. <laughs> just the three seaters. Yarukar, the Gold Ranger. <laughs> Okay. And what you do is you actually edit in the footage from the movie of Bulk and Skull in the background. <laughs> just with their faces on the movie. <laughs> not, not, no, not even that. You just include the footage, like that little clip, and you, instead, of, and when they say Power Rangers, you just edit in your own boom, voice. Boom, 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 uh, it might be a clip episode, or it might not, because we saw the toilet monsters back. It's, it's a pseudo clip episode in the sense of nothing of importance is going to happen. We're, we'll get teases of things, but it's Gotchard's finale. Yeah. We don't so wanna... here's how I see the framing. Low key episode. Yeah. Here's how I see the framing device, if I may. What's her? What, what's her name? The character? The 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 ISA I, the, character? Saibu. 
What's her name? Sai Sai Lu. Sai Lu? Sai Lu? Sai Lu? Okay. Yeah. She's so adorable. She goes, like, the framing device is that she goes into her superior's office and has to give a report of everything that's happened. And then so, recaps the series. Exactly. That Probably. sounds about right. Yeah. And, and then there was this fucking toilet monster. <laughs> yeah. It was the funniest shit you've ever seen, sir. And no, the, I don't want to hear about the funniest mm, shit I've ever seen. And the, Crazy. And, the, and we, the toilet toilet monster's back, right? Maybe. Like, yeah, maybe. maybe. As, if, if he is, it, it'd be funny if like they emphasize that and it's like, oh, wait, that thing's attacking right now. It's back! And Mad Rex might be coming back? I don't know. Sure. Uh, but yeah, that's how I think that the next episode is going to have its framing device. <laughs> it's hard on the Discord. Every time I say her name, all I hear is side boob. Mm, that's Freudian, my friend. Side boob Shirabe. <laughs> so reminds that's, me. A, that's a mnemonic device you can use to remember her name. <laughs> it reminds me a bit in Transformers Prime. Yeah, there's this race coming. Uh, there was a clip episode where like, government guys were talking, and one of them was like, all right, I can believe the giant robots and all their stuff, but now you're talking about mythical creatures? What? Yeah. You know, right, right here, unicorn. That's unicron. <laughs> unicorn. I just imagine Disrace showing up on Earth and being part of a three-person team that's called, the, and their names are Disrace, that race, and any race you want. <laughs> Disrace, that race, and the other race. Oh, okay, okay, clearly this guy's based on a I'm fucking going, snake. I'm yeah. Sorry, that was terrible. Oh, that might be that might be a pun on the fact that um, a lot of advanced engines, when they're put into Ford uh, Ford cars, are called Cobra editions. Oh. Like the Shelby Cobra, things like that. That. It's like it's like European cars being called spider. He's gonna he's gonna show us how a snake he can be. Oh <laughs> god damn it! Could be a biblical thing as well. Oh yeah, the yeah, snake. The from, and, from and, how have we made so many so many Aladdin references just in this episode? Right. <laughs> Medici. It's a good movie. And you know, Boone with with lap three showing Boone Orange in the background right next to him. Could be like he tempts him over. Ooh. See, that's why Cannonball didn't work because he didn't have a little pet. Like Mad Rex and this guy does. Ma Mad Rex had a dog. Disrace had a snake. What did Cannonborg have? His Whatever the hell spawned those tentacles friend. that came out of his shoulders. He has the old tiki thing. It was probably an octopus, and he built it into his framework. Yeah, because like whenever Cause he, he did, no care whenever he did like the modifying thing, you saw like little cyber energy tentacles come out of him. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. He might have worked it into his own thing because he prefers to do things because also. he modified it. Yeah. Well, wait. To be fair, these guys have also put their pets into their bodies. Oh, yeah. Matarex is. Oh, yeah, the dog was sticking out of his leg. This looks like his snake is his shoulder. Yeah. Time to go for a walk. Time to go walkies. You hungry, little guy? In the most literal way. Yeah. All right. Well, very good episode. Yeah, Looking so, forward to what's coming next. So glad that fucker's gone. Yeah. Fuck Anbor. He'll be back. <laughs> no! They'll see me next episode. We have cleared the least interesting part of Boon Boonger the middle. The, I mean, second the third lap is going to be fucking dumb. I mean, can we just talk about how good those candy apples they got at the end were? <laughs> no, yeah, that's what I uh, don't good, mind a good caramel. That's what Blue wanted to get, apple. right? Yeah, he yeah, was he was shy about like I won't no, candy liked, apple. I liked the um the presence of watermelon, the official food of summer. <laughs> I'm oh, yeah. I was very much in agreement when it's like let's get takoyaki, and I'm like I will always want takoyaki. <laughs> Alan as long as it's not so hot that you burn the crap out of your mouth. It's always so hot you burn the crap out of your mouth. It's part of the fun. It's, it's like summer. pizza. <laughs> it's how you feel alive. I don't know. A day old pizza has, is its own kind of great. It's no, so, it's great. Yeah, I agree. It's breakfast, sure. Cold, <laughs> cold <laughs> pizza for breakfast. We, we had pizza for breakfast. I know. Pizza I wasn't going to out myself immediately. Pizza for breakfast is amazing. It's well, Canadian tradition. Now, yeah. Honestly, now I'm just picturing Boondario waking up, going down to the kitchen, opening up the oven... He has like a house coat on. Uh, we last night's pizza. My, All right. My favorite kind right, of pizza next day curry, pizza. Let's do it. My favorite kind of next day pizza used to be pizza pizza, but they don't have the normal pepperoni they used to have anymore. The new New York bastards. pepperoni sucks. We can't let our new, we can't let our American fans find out that the ultimate Canadian breakfast is leftover slices of Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Now I'm just also picturing he goes outside. All right, time to do some laps. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza curry pretty. does sound good. Yeah, I need it. Yeah. Hawaiian pizza is interesting because it was invented by a Greek immigrant in Canada. Yeah, oh. yeah. And particularly enjoyed in Australia. We also invented basketball. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. And <laughs> Superman. Which yeah. means Superman. Which means it's thanks to them that we have Space Jam. Hell yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Canada. The Goon Squad. 
<laughs> Canada is no, the Fish Game Two. I'm sorry, maybe we didn't bring up Fish Game Two. Ah, uh, all right. Oh, right. There's no feature topic. No, there are. We're gonna get 20 to know each other, topics. Gar. Oh. Guys, where are the feature topics? <laughs> yes, the feature topic is Cast Ranger. It's who we are? It's you guys. All right. So as we said uh, at the start of the episode, instead of a normal feature topic, because this is our glorious 500th episode. We have taken some cues that we're going to A. Oh, gross. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way, and I love it. <laughs> we're going to put the Q in your A. Ah, Aww, that sounded weird. That's beautiful. Q stands for cock, but it starts with a Q. What? <laughs> Quack. <laughs> Quack and answers. All right. Um, Quack and boards. So, uh, before we get formally started, I think so, we'll lead us off with our first question. Yeah, because I I got this a really interesting one. I thought we should take this. So, our first question comes from Professor Lawrence Pierce of the University of Chicago. He writes... Wait, what? Yep. No. Dear Radio Sentai Cast Ranger, I think Tokusatsu gets stupider every year. It's not a question, Professor. (laughs) Nice question. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> also, stupider is not a word, Professor. <laughs> so are we each gonna so are we gonna do a rotation where we each do our first question and then we do our then we each do our second We're question. gonna ask the question and then each person's gonna give their answer. Yeah. Okay. I think you should start first though, Ichi. Alright. I love how you've like pointed right at me. <laughs> it was, it was you, right. you got this <laughs> you. Point. start this shit. You. you start this shit, you end it. You start this show, you're in it. It was Dave who started it. I just did the work. <laughs> Well, we all saw what happened to Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, bastard! But we're each taking turns doing one question, but we're all answering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when someone answers, like yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, the first question is actually one that I thought of that would be fun and interesting for us to talk about, mm-hmm. and that is favorite Cast Ranger thumbnail. Mm-hmm. All right. So my answer to this is episode two hundred and fifty-eight. I'm going to be a little self-indulgent for a minute. <laughs> How come, Ichi? <laughs> That's because it's the one where I edited myself into Omazeo. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> that was the episode where we talked about the finale of Zeo and where I went off. Yeah. I, I remember that. I was tired. All right. That describes a lot of episodes. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So I'm going to do my best to pull up the image as you tell me each one. Mm-hmm. Uh, so... Let's go around and everyone give their answers. Your favorite thumbnail? Uh, I guess I'll go. Uh, I, I I took the picture of it, but my favorite one was when we uh, talked about the Black Hazard Metal Hazard Build Hazard review. Can you? Uh, uh, which, do Discord. you know which episode that is, or put it in the Discord? Uh, I can put it in the Discord. Yeah. Um, so it's where I told you to take the scene from Spider Man Three and just put <laughs> has its head over it because it's. It's so good. Oh, yeah. That's such, like, you did exactly what I wanted, and I, I, I was so thankful. That. That's my favorite. So, so, sorry, which episode was that? I don't remember. <laughs> I just, I saw the image, I took it. Oh, okay. Well, the episode name is in the description on the thumbnail album. Oh, okay. Are they? I'm trying to look at it. They should be. There, there were no descriptions. Hmm. I mean, this is a fun one, just yeah. because, and I gotta say, like, that's actually a good way of putting, like, because... I, I, I nailed it down to one, when it's my turn, we'll go, but I had five originally, because so much of the, our thumbnails are just Ichi doing exactly what we tell him to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, most of these yeah. thumbnails are I my fucking idea. I take these as idea. challenges most of the time. <laughs> yeah, most of them are my fucking idea. Uh, uh, I guess I'll go. Yeah, we'll go, yeah. In, we'll go in, I think each question will go in, like, in, yeah. in order. So. Okay, alright. Uh, so, I sort of cheated a bit, and I, I picked five from, like, each hundred. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so up first, last from the past, episode 72. <laughs> uh, yeah! <laughs> uh, Such a good episode, man. Episode 154. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> with the cake. Jesus Christ. All right, episode 294. Yeah, it's loading. <laughs> So I'm going to on stage. I re- <laughs> oh, yeah, we saw you on the stage show. We fucking lost our shit over it. All right. Uh, episode 362. Which, because I thought it was just a really good edit. Oh, yeah. 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 That is Venom. And then this one, I'm trying to remember the name of. Episode 419. 
Work not final. Yeah, work not. Look at that. So look at that Zord. <laughs> that was in a show, and I told Ichi, Ichi, just slap work not artwork not final on that. That was one of the. That was one of the evil Don Brothers Megazords. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> that was in the show. Yeah. It doesn't look finished. Looks like they didn't finish coloring it. So mm-hmm. so yeah so I, I pick these ones mainly because they, they're just funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> And I just thought, you know what? Blast from the past throughout all of them. I do remember, like, we noticed that log seed fell on the, the stage. Oh, yeah. And we just couldn't keep our eyes off of it the whole time. And then like, it's was, still there. There was one shot later where someone, like, tried to grab yeah, it while no, they were no, behind someone. Yeah, no, they were all, like, huddled together and were like, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you grabbed it. <laughs> yeah. All right, who's next? Oh, I'll go. Emily. Or are we going in a... Okay. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, let me go. Okay, I have I have two. One, I know what it is, and the other, I don't know which uh, episode it was. Um, the first, and I apologize if this is a little bit meh, is um, Cast Ranger 100, because I'm still absolutely honored that you wanted to put my crappy drawing as the thumbnail. Oh, so good. So, see, um, that drawing's amazing. I, I, I wish I had something for 500. Um... The other is the one this with Celazord on. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> I hate to say it, but that's also my pick. So. <laughs> Do you have that image? Yes. <laughs> we'll post it so I can... Because I remember, I remember when it was taken. I remember the the um, process that was that had to happen in order to create that image. I had to. I remember. Yeah, take my shirt off. Your shirt was crouching under the table. How many times have I done that before? Did you get that photo? <laughs> Crouching shirtless under a table? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yes, that one. <laughs> that's another. Oh, this, this oh, was, no. this was the recently one. used one. Do you know, do you know what? I, you know what? It, it looks like main, old mainframe entertainment trash. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, uh, this this one I like too. Chris, Crystal Pepler. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal Pepler. There's the original. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. I love you can see Brian Cranston's mouth this is this picture is good I'm, I'm much happier with this picture being the one you guys went with versus the one where i'm wearing a hat that says makes you land great again <laughs> <laughs> there it is i'll still never forget you for the way. like oh oh it's oh it's hasbro yeah Oh, we can't have Bumblebee here? Oh, okay. And Cell just whips the Bumblebee helmet <laughs> across the room. Right. I love the sound of that guy. I remember too. she absolutely tossed it. Yep. <laughs> I, I just, my only regret is my possession in that room, because all you see is the back of my head. That's all I normally I'm, see. You know what? I have a runner-up, so I'll, 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 okay. I'll use that one. Well, it's your turn next anyway, so. Okay. Uh, episode 483. <laughs> With fi- with fire from <laughs> holding up the bench. Can you post that so I can uh, sure. pull it up? One second, one second, guys. Hold on. Fucking uh, Zoltar. Fuck it. I, I can't believe it. I might go see him next month when he's in. Zoltar? It's, it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Oh yeah, I, I have to like, put the Mentos to it. <laughs> number one because I really enjoyed that episode, or number two because he used the fruit <laughs> Mentos instead of the mint one. <laughs> Yeah, because it goes with them. I just looked up. I just looked up Mentos. <laughs> First one. And you, the you, fire maker. And you, put the, and you put the Cast Ranger logo on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's no. our brand deal. No, I, re- <laughs> I, I really enjoyed okay? that one. Really Someone's enjoyed. just talking about me. <laughs> All right, so. All right, so um, I, I, I'm gonna go with two now, but uh, one because it just it's it's so nostalgic to me for the whole show, and that is episode sixty one. It's explosions. Uh, I had to recreate that one because I, I don't know what happened to the original file. It just so I I had to retake the screenshot and like, oh that, that was like early. I would have moved the the logo over. Yeah, but but my number one favorite has to be episode one one six low blow Ichigo because again Ichi, thank you for doing my puppet work. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, that guy, but, but like. <laughs> This image does not exist anywhere else ever. Like this, I love when we do shit like that. It, like just you take this shitty B movie starring Cameron Mitchell. Like I only found out about this because Red Letter Media, and I'm like, oh hey, he's wearing a hood, kind of like the same way. 
<laughs> and that's why this exists. Awesome. Cameron Mitchell never knew this would happen to him, and I'm and I'm kind of happy for that. It's we're, okay, he's dead. Now. We're, uh, we're getting his estate exposure. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, that's he's our first. Dead? Plane, though. He died. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's our first question down. Next, this one comes from Crimson Riot. Favorite Toku toy. Mine would be the one I have sitting immediately next to me, the Seiken Sword Driver. Nice. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see, do I have the picture here? Do I have to fucking get it again? Yes, I do. Hang on. Give me one second. Got this. We don't need to post pictures for all, all no, this the, stuff. No, the thumbnail one we needed to share pictures of, but I don't think we yeah. had images of everyone. Um, okay, well, anyways, my favorite is, of course, the Ninja Star Burger. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's... it's, it's, it's it's great. There's never ever going to be another fucking toy like it. I don't know. We are about to get Gav. Well, one of my friends actually gave Linkara the hamburger morper. That's awesome. <laughs> I, I, I need to get a new one because apparently mine was in the sun for too long, so it like yellowed. So what you're saying is your burger went stale? Yeah, <laughs> my ye- it yellowed really badly on like the white part. So the cheese like, went bad. Yeah, the bread went stale. Yeah. So, but yeah, I love that thing. Also, because it pisses sell off to no end. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a good reason. It's just the ninja, nin, nin, it also just reminds me because, like, our, our year when we talked about Ninja, it was just that was a good so year. fun, memorable. Fire the ninjas like, will forever live fuck, in my heart. Yeah, we had the blast, like, shitting on the ninja. That was when so. I came into the picture. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of you coming in, it's your turn to answer favorite Toku toy. Favorite Toku toy? I actually had a problem with that because I looked around my room and I was like, shit. Your man doesn't count. No, <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> oh, no, no, I was going to be a cheater and be like, uh, Figure arts as a whole are my favorite toys. But, but no, I actually looked around and I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. You want know that? I'm going to pick that. It is the CSM Sengoku driver. Yeah. Is, that is, I still remember, I watched a video of us opening that. Yeah. You did the sword. Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's open it. You're not using the Seiken to open it. <laughs> and, and like, we saw all the styrofoam. It's like, this is too much. Too much. Got to be protected. Uh, and then I put my cat, then my cat laid on it, and then I was like, there you go, now you're a rider. And Lane's like, that's a $500 toy. Yeah, I was like, do not do that. <laughs> no, I just, first ever, like, CSM toy, and it, like, it holds up. Or not holds up, but, like, it, it, uh, I don't know what's the best word it's to good. describe it. It exceeded my expectations of it. Oh, cool. All right, Emily, your turn. Okay, favorite Toku toy. This is pretty hard because I think a few of them are ones that I are even from shows that I've never seen. Because um, I remember one of the first things that made me want to get into Common Rider was seeing a Kivat driver on eBay. And I'm never going to forget that because I was like, wait, it's a little guy? Yeah. It's a little guy? Yeah. And he's not the only one. There's several of them. Voiced by Tomokazu Seki? Yeah. Sugita. Oh, is it? Yeah. Who is Seki? Nope. Oh, okay. Kivada Sugita. And then, um, and then, um, in terms of ones I I have, um, the only driver that I actually own is the Icon Driver G, and uh, because of that, I, I absolutely love it. Um, I need to adjust it because I actually am thinner than I was when I bought it. That's good. Um, and the like really general answer is I am so happy that they're now in an era where they're doing plushies of everybody, including in their civilian forms. Nah, they do it for Precure too, and it's great. I love it. I still have my little Yanma plushie. And that was not a thing. <laughs> yeah, I know your Yanma. Because that was a thing before. They didn't do that. And then they just started. All right. Uh, moving on to Paul. Uh, it's a question, it, it, it's a tie. I, I have a tie. Okay. Uh, the first is the, um, the Judgment Time Deca Ranger. Uh, the, the, li- the SP license? Yes, the SP license. Well, that's a good one. I really, really like that. Yeah. I really enjoy Judgment Time. Like, then and then Judgment Time. It plays in my head. <laughs> Watch my time. I quite enjoy it. Um, and the other one is, um, the Baseline Odor Caliber. Nice. I, I really like the combos you can pull off with it. I like the design of it. I like that it looks like a standard issue uh, a fantasy sword and kind of leads me to think about, like, you know, it's it's based in potential and, like, they're, they're all the same thing and, like, it's individual how they chime it. 
and I like the size of it. I like the weight of it as a toy, and I think that it's really fucking cool. Wait, she's getting the Memorial one soon, so you yep. can play with that Fully one. Fully paid off. I would love a proplica of it. Yeah, I mean, if I could, if I could, uh, do you know the you know the you know the really really expensive proplica ones? Like, mm-hmm. is that like is, the, is, like is the that dual disc? Well, <laughs> but is that is that able to be included? Well, sure. Then the 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 proplica Black Sun Morpher, like the oh, okay. the Black the Sun, the one with though. the moving parts. Yes, yes. Christ. It's oh, the, it's the raddest no. fucking thing of all time, yeah, and pretty, I want it. Pretty sick. Though. It's like five hundred dollars, and I want it. We need to talk more about Black Sun soon. Absolutely, I need more of that show. I the man it. to your right is the one handling the schedule. <laughs> I will. I will throw some on, but I will confirm that I will not be on to talk about it because we are currently in the midst of watching the original Black. Gotcha. Go ahead, Oh, okay. Well, All right, Black Sun is very different. So, your turn. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to... I didn't think it would be this soon, but I'm going to bring Power Ranger stuff into this. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to... I, I love the legacy PR stuff they do. Like, and specifically, though, the Morphers and the Megazords. Mm. However, I had to pick one because it's probably the last, like, Power Ranger toy I bought. <laughs> Was the uh, the Legacy Dragon Dagger? I think oh was hell awesome. yeah, dude! Yeah, that's good. Uh, that so that's my favorite number one. So I definitely recommend the Hasbro one because you can actually make your own notes with the Dragon <laughs> Dagger. So it's gonna sound <laughs> awful. So you can play like an actual flute. <laughs> Someone did take on me with the Dragon. <laughs> Dagger. What, that's what amazing. Do you, what do you think about the Legacy Master Morph? Dragon. I think it's cool. Dragon. Like you got them all. Like, like I was saying, I like like specifically I like the Morphers and the uh, the Megazords, but mm. Drag me. <laughs> all right we got a lot of questions to get through so let's get going next question this comes from blaze make a team for cho superhero tyson and for those who don't remember cho superhero tyson was the movie where different teams of five riders and sentai were pitted against each other i love that concept but god that movie sucked yeah so bad um so i took an i went an extra step and I uh, I made an actual wallpaper for my team oh my oh. goodness cretaceous you took a fancy tips huh uh, all right, so uh, my team is as my red Kuwagata Ojer. For my blue Kamen Rider Blades, on green I have Chameleon Green from Q Ranger. Uh, yellow is Kamen Rider Laser level three, and my pink is Kira May Pink. Nice. Okay. Nice. Uh, my team is uh, Build Hazard, Patron Sango, Signal Man, Drive Type Speed, and Common Rider Legend. <laughs> Surprising <laughs> so, no one. <laughs> yeah. Gar, what'd you do? I don't think I have an answer for this one, to be honest. That's, that's okay. Alrighty, so for the red spot, I decided to go with Common Rider Sabaki. For the blue slot. Damn it. I did Common Rider Sabaki. God damn, God damn you. You bastard. That better not be your actual list. No, but thank you very much for Decker to make that. I wish it was. Wow. I like, what, you know what's really fucking annoying too is they all look good in those colors. He looks good in every single one. I was, oh like, I was like, what's the one Rickroll I can make? Like, Wasn't Danky the writer you memed the hell out of? No, it was Sabaki. No, it was Sabaki. Oh, wow. Man, He's the... like, my favorite Hibiki writer is Sabaki. Man, the Psycho Rangers look weird. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, for, for real, though. Uh, hang on. Let me pull, let me pull that quickly. Uh, Herp Derps. All right, for red is Kamen Rider Ryuki. For Rider, if it had to be a ranger, show you red. This is how far I went. I did. You like, met, You picked a rider and Sentai for each slot? Yes. Oh, man. For blue, Kamen Rider Gaim. For, for Rangers, it would be either Shinken Blue or Hurricane Blue. Gaim's orange. No, he's a blue. <laughs> Actually, I rewatched the movie. They qualify him as a blue rider. Wow. Uh, for yellow, uh, Kamen Rider Beast. For Sentai, it would be Time Yellow or Tokyo Sango. Yep. For pink, uh, Kamen Rider uh, Revi. And Kira May Pink as well. All right. I was, I was going back and forth on whether I wanted uh, either Kira May Pink or Momo Ninja. And then for green, I have Kamen Rider Tycoon and Magi Green. Mm-hmm. Mainly because I think of all the characters there, they can all work great as a team. Or if they get split up into like smaller groups, they also still work really well together. They're all level-headed. They're not like cocky into their own sense of like. I didn't even think about team dynamics. I just like. I was like. I just like these ones. He, oh, said, you, why? You wanna, he said why? <laughs> you want to talk to someone who didn't give a shit about team dynamics? <laughs> Wait till they get to me. I love everyone. Loved the Sabaki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. 
Is it's that a fun picture. Is that everyone from you, Gar? That's everyone from me. All right, Emily said you didn't have one. I'll go to. I don't really. Um, I'm not gonna lie, but my thought was just zero the world, zero the world, zero the world, zero the world. <laughs> there you go. You can make a three man team out of his three forms. Like, there you go. <laughs> that's what I was thinking was that it would just be a team of all his forms, just <laughs> separate people. Oh, um, and Spider Komonos is there too. <laughs> <laughs> old Jeremy, good old Jeremy. Mm. All right, Paul. For red, good old Com- Jeremy. For red, Common Rider Kabuto. Of course. Tendo yeah. is the leader of my team. Yep. Yeah. There's there's no other person. Valid. Okay. Uh, oh, for, yeah, I could choose Ryder, too. Darn it. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, never mind. For blue, uh, Maji Blue. Nice. Of course, because she's the smartest, yeah. and she's really cool, and she uh, she reminds like, I, I just like her a lot as a character. Uh, for pink, uh, Momo Ninja. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, for green, it has to be Re-Ranger from Z-Ranger. Like, it has to be. You mean Dragon Ranger? Dragon Ranger, yes. Yeah. Do, do they actually call him Dragon Ranger? Yeah. 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 Ranger. Uh, okay. Ranger is from Die Ranger. Ranger. Yeah, yeah. Ranger Ranger is the following season. Mm-hmm. Uh, a yellow Ranger. Well, a, a yellow one. Common Rider Zero One. Hmm. Interesting. Does he count as yellow? Are He's we, green. No, no, going back no, to that no, debate on if no. Zero One is green or yellow. He is highlighter yellow. Oh, Chartreuse. <laughs> yes. He's Chartreuse. Kinda, he's kinda, he, he straddles the line, but I'm, I'm considering him my yellow ranger because I already have I do ranger. see yeah. more yellow. Whenever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for a blue... You said magic blue. Oh, yeah. Magic blue, yeah. yeah so so I, I've got my team there. So yeah. uh, pink. Momo Ninja. Momo Ninja. Oh, Momo Ninja. Momo. Green? Green is Dragon Ranger. Sure. Yeah. Oh, right. So, yeah, that is a right. <laughs> yeah. We just immediately all forgot everyone on your list. <laughs> Sorry. It's for the fans, not for us. All right. So, all right. All right, so um, I, I was really furry on it on this uh, one. Furry? Oh, yeah. Because I basically made a team of all the wolf ones. Oh. <laughs> not, yeah, all, so not, not all of them. You me blues on there? No. <laughs> Why? I went with three riders. You and didn't three... use the one that actually has fursuit? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm not How that dare for... dare you? <laughs> so, uh, I didn't dislike him. I just wanted only six, though. So, I got Kiva uh, Garulu form. Okay, that, you know what? Yep. The Vulcan shooting. Kevin. Shooting wolf. Yeah, sorry. Uh, a lo- Lopo zombie. Is, it, is that, did I say it right? Yeah. yeah. And so, those are my riders. Those are the three wolf riders I found that I liked. And so, for the rangers, I have Geki Violet, Gao Silver, and Wolzard Fire. Wow. Hell yeah. yeah. So we call it the Wolf Pack. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the name of the movie. That actually sounds like a badass team. Yo, Wolf Kami Sentai. Wow. Wolves are badass. Who'd have thought? Wow. You, went, you went with Wolves Art Fire instead of regular Wolves Art. Nice. Yeah, well, I mean, I went with the hero form, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Red's less evil than purple, I guess. Yeah. Well, purple, also, there was already... Purple already, was his villain form. But also, there's Geki Violet on the team. So. Sure. Yeah. All right. Uh... This was a fun one. Also from Blaze, join any existing Sentai. What is your ranger hero name, color, and mecha? So this was something I already had in the in the can actually, because this was something I came up with a while back. So I would be on King Oger. Uh, my my shoe god would be an owl fly, and the Japanese name for that is Suno Tonbo. So I would be Suno Tonbo Suno Tonbo Oger, and my suit would be Azure in color. Because I have seen an owl fly that has like an azure tint to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. Cool. Lane. Uh, so mine actually exists as well because I I got it drawn from years ago. I don't have the picture unfortunately because it's on my uh it's on my iPad at home. Uh, but it would be I'd be on the Pat Rangers obviously. Uh, Patron Jusongo, which is the, the oh, word yeah. for thirteen. Uh, and I, I honestly I don't have like a mech for him, but I guess he would just use Pat Kaiser, but like. A reskin of yeah. Pat Kaiser? Yeah. Or at least Trigger Machine years ago? Yeah, exactly. And yeah, so he'd look really cool. Because I got, I got a drawing of him. For some reason, I was like, I said to the artist, I was like, can you put, can you put the Infinity Gauntlet on him? Because it was like when the <laughs> Infinity War was big. So I have Patron Jusongo just wielding the Infinity Gauntlet. All right. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Gar. Uh, I'll admit, I didn't really come up with a solid answer. And... I made it Ultraman it's, instead. It's I wish. Uh, it's Ultra Gar. It's sort of cheating. <laughs> Gao Green, okay, for Gao Ranger, and mm-hmm. his mech would be the the Conga Zord. Oh, oh okay. Oh, I love, oh, I love, I love the Conga Zord. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm just thinking like you know, like oh, in his own Zord. I'm like, 
I don't know. I always thought of the idea of a green wild force ranger would have looked dope. Yeah, and like gorilla themed. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. It just reminded me of green hippopotamus from the Ghostbusters movie. <laughs> oh, the race skin. Uh, Emily. Um, this is gonna sound like a really dumb thing to say, but I was wondering, did anybody else have an idea for me? Because I kind of clammed up on this question because I don't feel I'm not good at coming up with things like I this mean, about if myself. You, if you want, Emily, you can like I know it's like a Sentai, but honestly, like if you could join a Precure team, who would you want to be part of? Do you have a Precure OC? Oh, yeah, if you had a Precure like team, you'd want to join. Who would it be? Um. I'm swallowing liquid because I want to say that I don't. <laughs> um, Which means that you do. But I remember when Delicious Party came out, um, I, I, as somebody who really likes food, I thought if I were on that team, um, what would I what would I be? And um, I thought of um, a salad-themed um, cure because they're all different bowls. I know it's all supposed to be carbs if salads are... <laughs> Notably not carbs. Salads have croutons. But <laughs> cure salad. I guess. No, um cure agro dolce. Oh cool. okay. <laughs> um, which, which is it's Italian for um for like sweet and sour basically. Oh, nice. Um and uh I have no idea what this what this cure would actually look like. I just uh I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there would be a green cure because everyone wants there to be green cures and salad is green, usually. I, I love green cures. Those and the yellow ones are my favorites. So the earth yeah, usually cures. a lot of my favorites <laughs> are yellow cures. Too. Yes. But yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, uh, I drew Bobo as a salad fairy once. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paul. Magic brawn. A little ball. Sorry? Magic brawn. A bronze, a bronze-colored Magi Ranger who is the, who either is the Sky Saint or derives from the Sky Saint of physical magic, like buff oh. magic, basically. And I'd ha and his Zord would be called Bronze Cyclops. Neat. Yeah, that's cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. It's a humanoid. It's a humanoid uh, Magi Titan, like the rest of the other Magi Rangers. Mm -hmm. It's a. It's Cyclops. It's weird because I'm. Noticed I've never really thought of a Sentai of me, but I've thought of ri ri multiple riders before mm. because we've done that as a team yeah. exercise. I quite, <laughs> I quite like it, it's it's uh, the reason why I picked Cyclops is because I quite like Cyclopsis, the the Zord that Gold oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. piloted <laughs> back in the day. Neat. It would be loosely based on that, but okay. yeah, it would be based on buff magic. Cool. Yeah, Brawn would be a play on bronze because it'd be bronze colored. Got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so. <laughs> so I've got two. I'll be quick if you want. Because sure. I went, uh, again, I went uh, Sentai and a, and a Power Rangers one. Okay. So uh, Sen awesome. Sentai, I also went King Oger. Okay. And I, because this is another guy, like, I was thinking about, actually. And so he, he would be crab themed. Okay. And he would uh, be, he would have Gronkyo Oger. Which, because they don't all use Japanese words. Like, some of them are French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's Italian for crab. Okay. <laughs> and uh, he would, like, yep. so be orange. And his name was, and I love this, Deca Fiddler the Tenth, because <laughs> it's a all, I love that. It's all crab so puns. I know you're OC. That's a good OC. Would he also be a king crab? Hell yeah! Yeah, <laughs> he could be king of the ocean. It's exactly what he is. <laughs> nice. You want honorable mention? Sure, you yellow. Oh, there, you go. Go. there you go. My it, my honorable mention would be fucking Kabuto Oger, like yeah, yeah. Green Oger. Nice. Sorry. I've seen some fan ones. You think? All right, and your other one? And the other one would be, it would be in the original MMPR. It would be the purple one, Spinosaur. Oh. Fuck. oh and the weapon, dinosaur. and the weapon of uh, that would be the, a shield. Nice. Like, like, like the fin. <laughs> yeah. So this is my two. I like that. Thank cool. you. Very badass. Yeah. All right, next question. This was another one that I came up with because I thought might be a, a good thing to, to think about. So I'm going to answer the question while asking it, but we've talked previously about how King Oger feels like it was my season. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it catered to my interests, my aesthetics, things that I like. So I thought, better to you. Yeah, so I thought it might be interesting for us to go around and say which... Rider and or Sentai season do you feel is your season? Can you imagine if 
I know we always joke that Toei is listening to us, but can you imagine if, if the, we ever proved it? If the entire idea behind King Oger was just like, let's make one for Ichi. They've given he's given us so many. If great they ideas. did, there would have been stock engines in it. No, but they don't want you to be happy. <laughs> They want, like they, to to balls a bit. <laughs> they want you to have something to be mad at. They want you to be mad at them. They want you to have some things to well, talk about. You, yeah, they want to hear you freak out. Well, then that's what Don Brothers was for. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, my answer is King Oger for Ryder, Exade because video games, and King Oger for Sentai. Uh, so for mine, Sentai would obviously be Luke and Pat because Pat Ranger, cops and stuff. I just love that shit. And as you said, for Ryder, Exade because video games. <laughs> I wanted to make the joke. It's like, Exade, because I love video games and I have copious medical problems. <laughs> well, it's like, I just remember, like, when, when Exade was announced and we saw the scans and shit, you, me, you were a fucking stoke. Oh, yeah. You're so ready for that show. I still have well, my I love video game medicine as a combination. I always say, I still have my original gamer driver that I bought day one. Yeah, I love I it. Never getting rid of it. Right over there. Love that thing. Uh, Garth. Since I'm cheating with. Keeper Ranger. That, that counts. <laughs> that counts. Uh, it's just like as a as a fan of Super Sentai for so long, going back to see that show is like it has aged like fine wine. <laughs> you Under, like comedy, like understanding all the references and like yeah. you can tell there was heart put into it. And you can appreciate it a lot better now that you've seen all of the Sentai. That mm-hmm. that fucking store with all the Sentai shit on it. God damn. Where's my money? Always cool to look at. Always cool to go back. To uh, as, as for Ryder, I, I guess I don't really have one. I never really thought of it. I have a favorite season, but there's never been a season where I've been like, this... Like you? Yeah, this is me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That will be the eventual movie theme. That will be eventually be Kamen yeah, Rider scene yeah. where he uses film reels as his henshin trinket. So, <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. We'll only use That's DVDs, awesome. we'll only use Betamax. <laughs> and, I don't know. Oh, laser disc. And, yeah, and, and, his, laser and disc. his machines like a uh, camera dolly. <laughs> Oh no, it's a common rider on a dolly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Emily. Um, honestly, it's looking like Gab. Gab, that yeah. Season. That's what I thought. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah for, for Ryder, but it, who knows? It might turn it might turn out to not be. Um I like the com the concept of Powder Ranger, but not as much Lufin Ranger, but I mean they also did other police uh Ranger seasons, I just haven't seen them. Um, what else? Yeah, G- Gav. Yeah, I, it, and also the the hypothetical movie season. I'm all in for that, even though it doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. All right, well, uh, for Common Rider, I know you're all expecting me to say Kabuto, <laughs> because it's my favorite. But I'm going to say Gaim. Okay. Because Gaim was what got me back into it from my hiatus. It was the first one that really started going super high concept, like you know, uh, it, it got into like Judea, like Judeo, uh, like it, it got into like Christian imagery. It got into like really high end storytelling, and it also tried to fool me by making it think that it was sillier than it was going to be. <laughs> From a conceptual point of view, I almost was fooled enough to just overlook it. But it bamboozled me, and I adore it when something does that to me. When I when I'm watching something, and I when I'm going, oh, 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 okay, cool, awesome, <laughs> nice. And for Sentai, I know you're expecting me to say Maji Ranger because it's my favorite. <laughs> so you will. <laughs> no, I won't. No. I'm gonna say Geki Ranger. Really? Oh. Because Geki Ranger, I like the simplicity of this. It's the exact opposite. I like the simplicity of the suits. And I like the fact that it's essentially just following the tropes of a kung fu movie. I really dig that. I, if, if there, if I was to pick two seasons that were just me, yes, those two. Nice. So, um, see, for for Sentai, it's like on concept alone, it probably would be Real Soldier, Real Soldier, right? Yeah. Because dinosaur knights, yeah. right? <laughs> Fuck yeah! Although you've you've quite squashed that dream for me, sir. <laughs> I didn't squash it. I just pointed out. <laughs> uh, uh, but honestly, I gotta agree with you. I think I gotta say King Oger. 
Just like in terms of everything, the style, the way it's done, the look of everything. Right. The, the, like I love, I, I love bugs as well. So people often complain that it looks like a PS2 era RPG, and I'm like, but that's what I'm into. And, and like, I, and I gotta say, it like it, it appeals to my sensibilities because how many times did I say this? It's the least Sentai of Sentai I've, I've ever, ever seen. You know. Yeah. So like it appeals to me on like a bigger level than just oh this is a cool Sentai. Yeah. You know. And oh, uh, I'll say for for Common Rider, it's X because it's insane. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> you haven't seen Common Rider X, have you? I've seen quite a bit. Of... We've done it on the show. <laughs> All right, moving on to our next question. This one comes from Sir Jerry. Uh, we might tread some repeated answers a little bit here, but favorite recent series that we've talked about. I'll be brief. King Oger, for obvious reasons. Don Brothers. <laughs> Don Brothers is so good. Wait, what was the question? Favorite recent series that we've talked about on Cast Rangers. This is Lane's question, isn't it? No. No, he picked it, but the question was asked by Jerry. Oh, no, no, that's what I meant. Like, I yeah. thought we were leading with the person who picked the question. Like, they would ask the questions. Oh, if you, do you want to Oh, do no, that? no, no, that's fine! Huh? I like what we're doing. Okay. Yeah. We don't need to change the format. Yeah, so I, let me point out, so... I have these questions listed by the order of who picked them, so the, everything we just did were questions I either came up with or picked. The next four questions are ones that Lane picked. Yeah. So the first question was was asked by Jerry, and Lane picked it, and it's favorite recent series we've talked about on Cast Ranger. Okay. So King Oger, Don Brothers, uh, Gar. Uh, for me, it's got to be Kamen Rider <coughs> Revice for, because of its family and how tight it is with its story. For Sentai, it's Zoo Oger. Because I just love how simplistic it is, and it reminds me a lot of how I used to watch Wild Horse nice. as a kid. Emily? I mean, it might be a bit cliche considering it was when I started, but I really enjoyed talking about Ghost and about and about Zoodra as well. Um, really, really fun going through Guy. Really fun going through Don Brothers and hearing you guys trying to comprehend it. <laughs> as I did, and um, well, heck, uh, King Oger as well, because for once, it was wonderful to see you really excited for every episode of Sentai. <laughs> Alright, Paul. I hate to be cliche, but the sheer fact of it is King Oger is a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I did say I, we'd have some repeated answers. I'm sorry, I know it's a boring answer, no. but it's it's true. Like, King Oger is Hopelessly the best... Devoted. King Oger might be the best thing Toei has done in a while. Like, That's a bold claim. <laughs> yeah. But it's... Well, I mean, like, in terms of Toku. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, just their lines up, lineups of Toku. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with King Oger. It has to be. And in terms of Ryder... Um, I've been trying... I've been getting through little bits... I, I wasn't on for the build season... But I've been getting through bits of it, and I quite like build. So I feel like I, I wasn't on for it, but I would have really, really thrived while being on being on for that. I would have loved it. So I build is probably the rider I would pick. It's 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 better than Geats. <laughs> it's better than a lot of the other stuff that I've been on, and I take long breaks. So like you know that you guys have covered recently. There's a lot of it that I haven't. That it, build is the one that I would have been most exciting, excited to be on the season for. Is that true, by the way? Uh, did Jamie's question specify shows <laughs> that not, are not King Oger? I don't think so. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, it was. Sorry, uh, it was. That's not King Oger. So oh, EG. oh. I, I may have just ignored that. <laughs> <laughs> he can pick whatever he wants. That's a whole other question. <laughs> so, uh, well, uh, King Oger. <laughs> 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 like okay like the reason is because like i feel like i am gonna remember that one the most from that reason though if, if i had to give a, a, a an answer to the question high school heroes oh that's a good that one. was so much better than i was expecting um, the high school hero like that th that was a really nice show like full of full of laughter and warmth and i'm not a fan of the suit designs overall but you know, it's got giant principle at the end. How can you go wrong? No. Um, if I have to give an answer that isn't King Oger, honestly, it's it's either gonna be Zero One or Kira Major. So 
Those are both. I really completely good. forgot about Zero One. Oh my god, how did that, <laughs> that happen? I love that show. <laughs> All right, next. All right, next question. <laughs> this was asked by Selen in the chat, chosen by Lane. If there is a Toku show that you don't like for whatever reason, but now with hindsight, maybe you would consider giving it a second chance, what show would that be? Honestly, for me, it would be Zenkaiger. After the chaos that was Don Brothers, Zenkaiger deserves a second chance. <laughs> uh, for me, it'd probably Colorado Ghost. Not as bad as you could have been. I'd probably say Colorado Ghost, just because I, I, I feel like feel like when we were talking about it it was we were very harsh especially towards its end <laughs> so i feel like if i gave it a rewatch i feel like i'd be able to see and appreciate more of what they were trying to go for with it you know even though the dead rider left halfway through the fucking show especially <laughs> now that we have the specter movie exactly i'll still hate adele till my dying fucking last breath but it's fine <laughs> jackson in the chat rewatch zankaiger consume gear <laughs> Uh, what was the question again? Uh, which show did you not like while it was airing, but with hindsight would probably have a better opinion? Right now, I think it would have to be Kamen Rider x because I will personally say this, the fandom made me fucking hate that show. Specifically Dan Kuroda. No, no, the fan, like the Kamen Rider Western internet, like the Western fandom was so fucking, like, they were jerking that show so hard it's the video game show yeah. why would you expect anything else and i was like i just are you guys on fucking glue i don't get it <laughs> you guys on fucking you're not a glue. true gamer like us you don't get it so i think now i can go binge watch the entire show probably have a better like a better time with it now that not everyone's like this, this is why I don't interact with the fandom outside of us and Cast Ranger. Gar, I can see it now. Gar's gonna be rewatching X Day as soon as he hears Dan just go. Bleh! No, no, can't do nope, it. I'm sorry. I tried. I cannot. No, no, no. Just take whatever I have left of my X Day collection. Just fucking trash. You're just, or just give it to me. It's that shot of uh, Daichi just fucking punching the laptop. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I love that someone took that and made turn it into a zero one. Impact. Uh, Emily. Uh, what show would I give a second chance to? Yeah. In all honesty, it, it might have to be Kamen Rider Saber because when I was watching it. I really didn't like it, like, at all. It became very, um, oh, God, I have to watch Saver again. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I know there was good stuff going on, and I feel almost like now that I know what to expect from the way the story progresses and everything, I also really like Toma, um, that if I watch it again, that I would enjoy it more. Yeah. Oh. Um, it was a toss-up between two things, and both of these things are going to be answers to my questions, but I'm going to go with Forze. Because I did not like Forze. <laughs> and it was because, number one, I thought the suit was too simplistic, and you just kept chucking things onto it, and it looked really stupid the more you built onto it. <laughs> and also, I, I do like protagonists that, like, you know are upbeat and like and you know talk about friendship and shit like that but i just found the protagonist of forza to be way too much like <laughs> was the best man yeah no i he was a pill but, <laughs> but i would absolutely but i i'd give it another try because i feel like i kind of mellowed out on the suit a little bit i still think the attachments look really fucking gaudy and stupid but i've kind of turned around on the base suit mm -hmm. and i think that like the the final form looks a lot better like it, it looks pretty cool, and quite frankly, I, I I just wanted to give it a shot for like you know being fair's sake, like you know what I mean. No, well, it's, it's a fun high school drama. I'll give it that. Sure, gotcha. and that certainly was, is more than Gotcha was. Sure. <laughs> and at the time, and at the time, that's not what I was looking for in my common writer. But I'd give it another shot. Yeah, well, especially when you know that Forza was supposed to originally be, like, a really dark, ser uh, serious show, but then when the tsunami happened in 2011, they changed it to be more... Oh, happy, happy! Yeah, so they could 
you know, give the kids something to be happy what about. What missing parents? In an, everything, in, in an everything against it, and I didn't buy into the hype. I would give it another shot. They needed to switch everyone's moods. <laughs> Come on, Fred. I'm not doing time. it now. <laughs> so. Just because of that pun, no longer. No. All right. Welcome. My turn? Yep. All right, you're going to hate me. Uh, uh, Don Brothers. <laughs> I knew it! Yeah! Okay. The, the, the more I see of it, the more I'm like, oh, God, this is exactly my sense of Dude, humor. Oh Join the cult of Don Brothers. It, it, it's, uh. it's, it's nonsense that seems to devolve into chaos. I'm in. It's so I might check out Don. That is, ab- you know what? That absolutely is your. Yeah, we have to show them the summer movie where they're filming the, the make the movie. Oh yeah, it's so good, so good. Sorry, Uchi. You're welcome, Wayne. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Next question. This was asked by Multi, and it is favorite Heisei rider. Woo. Now, the question didn't specify favorite Heisei rider power set or favorite Heisei rider series. So I'm going to quickly answer both. And in terms of power set, it's Kamen Rider Brave. In terms of series, it's build. Uh, my favorite Hasty Rider, it's honestly kind of like a tie because like I kind of switch between them. Drive and Forte, they're, they're just my they're my two homeboys. Like Drive, Drive is everything I want because he's like cool looking, he's police officer, justice, everything. And then Forze is the space aspect that I love so much. I love the space aesthetic, I love the suit, I love the switches, I love the driver. Just imagine they combine their power set and the Tridoron just launches into space. <laughs> oh, hype space. That'd be fucking yeah. awesome. All right, Gar. All right, uh, I guess in terms of character for Heisei Rider, it's Hibiki. I really like just how different he is in terms of, like, he's an older dude. He's been at this for years. He's technically not even a common Rider. He's just a common Rider for namesake. Yeah, it's actually turned into a Makamo and Decade showed up. Yeah, oh, you know, that was, that was <laughs> awful. Yeah, yeah but... but then they did that killer soundtrack. And, you know, it's just, I liked how different Hibiki was for all the good reasons. Hibiki was quite a trip. Oh, Hibiki was... In which I, I still plan on us having talk about Hibiki at yeah. some point. Uh, in terms of show, it's gotta be a Ryu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Series is drive. Drives. It's just. All right, Emily. Um, I'm not entirely sure which are Heisei, um, but Heisei goes from oh, yeah, Kuga. Yeah, Zero up One was the first uh, Showa, right? Was so... the first Reiwa. So go. go to yeah, work. the first Reiwa. Heisei goes from Kuga up to Zio. Man, I don't want to say Ghost because that's so bad. Don't you, you it's, like Ghost? It's, you it's, like are ghost? we including Neo Heisei too? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's all Heisei. Right? I don't understand why I like Ghost so much, except I do, and it's because it was my first rider. It's fine. I feel like if it wasn't, then I probably would not like it anywhere near as much as I do. But it was my first time hearing things like belt chimes, seeing form changes, all this stuff. Yeah. First time. So I'm always going to associate it with ghosts. Art is an That's experience in the vacuum. <laughs> yes, that is my... Yeah, it was like the, like the... This movie reminds me of Boss Baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're like... No, you know what? It was someone... It was like, um, if so, the only movie someone's seen is Boss Baby, then they'll compare everything else to Boss Baby because oh, it's the only I, point of reference I they know had. What I see what you're talking about. For, for me, it's Ghost, and every other common Rider I saw made me think, this reminds me of Ghost. It's like how the general public sees anything Tokusatsu and goes, this is Mighty Morph from Power Rangers! It's it's true. <laughs> true, true enough. Pretty much, but it, Gar I hope that I'm at least a little more self-aware than that. Um, also, I love your <laughs> Especially when you find out it was a cat. When we find out it's a cat, which means I would be allergic to your son, but not in ghost form, I hope. <laughs> All right, Paul. Well, but him being a cat explains a lot. <laughs> um, and also, 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 um, aside from Ghost, um, gonna have to gonna have to throw Gaim in there because it's a masterpiece. Even though I never finished it, mm. I need to finish it. Um, and X Eight because it's also a masterpiece. Crap, Bill's really good too. <laughs> they're just all so good. All right, Paul. They Tendo. are. They're all, they're all really good. Yeah. Paul. Tendo. Third time's trying. Yeah. Common <laughs> Rider Kabuto, the baddest of asses, the bosses of bitches, and Mr. Mr. Mackerel Miso himself. I love him so much. That Tendo's, was absolutely rehearsed. Yes, in my head, I was trying to do it three times. Emily kept talking. Why did Lady <laughs> Guard just both raise their oh, hands? Crap, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right. No, uh, yeah, Tendo Soji. Tendo, oh, you're doing the pose. 
Tendo motherfucking Soji. His grandmother once said he was the one who would walk the path of heaven and take charge of everything. He's so fucking cool. His yeah. rider design is awesome. I love Cast Off. I love Clock Up. He's just the coolest motherfucker, and he's my fave. He was oh, so cool that the only villain they could come up with was an evil copy of him. Exactly. <laughs> so cool. What's more I badass than a black to... Kabuto? Yeah, no. I, I seriously need to watch Kabuto because I love the concept of the, the concept of the the um the insect powers. I love the concept of cast off. I love the concept of the worms. Also, also each it's right up my alley. So also, I don't know why I haven't watched it. Also, each and I share a favorite line of Tendo. I was stronger. One of my strongest. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. Love it. Kabuto is so, uh, so cool. Seiji the Kaiwa declared that he that was his favorite common rider to perform as. Nice. I mean, no one does a better fucking roundhouse rider kick well, like him. Well, like, like, like he is so, he's so up there in terms of like godlike abilities. It's like, he is, he is, his rider kick is literally an attempt to to apply ei jutsu <laughs> to his foot. Yeah. He gave himself his belt. To him when he was a kid. All right, all right, enough. All right, so, uh, favorite Heisei rider? Yep. Uh, common rider Garth Electric form. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> what about? Oh, it's the nineties. Oh, you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> I was really, like, hang on. What? <laughs> he said common rider Garth, and I'm like, what? Electric form. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, honestly, and still kind of cheating, I, I'd actually say uh, Dex. From uh, from Mast Rider. Mast Rider. Hell yeah! That's yeah. the that's Heisei. Mast Rider. <laughs> Only. Oh. Which is the best kind? So you're saying, I can't so you're saying, argue that. So you're saying Black RX, which means Paul hates you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's I'm true. Say it with me. Ecto phase activate. Dex, I Dex, will not. Dex, Dex. If it wasn't if it wasn't for Dex, I wouldn't have an answer for this. Okay. <laughs> so drive. Drive. I like drive, but I don't remember drive a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. Like, I like, I like honestly, be, like with with that with that uh, with Dex. Like I remember a lot about Dex. I remember his look. I remember what he did. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> so yeah. It in. Or we could go with Garth. <laughs> I go with Garth. <laughs> that is a great rider belt, honestly. <laughs> look at that shit. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, he's not a giant belt. monster. <laughs> He's tossing his back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. This was, I think Lane came up with this one himself. Yep. The next question is, what's one toku toy you don't own, but you're dying to own? Mm. My answer is the CSM Ixa belt. Nice. I keep looking at it on Amazon, but I can't buy it. It's too much. It will be yours one day. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> so technically the one I... One dying to own doesn't exist yet, but I hope it eventually will. That this, doesn't count. The CSM Drive Driver. No. <laughs> Live it to happen. That, you, you, Complete you, with every shift car and signal bike. You're the one that came up with the yeah, question. Yeah, and I make and the then, rules of it. And then, <laughs> and then <laughs> defy the question. Yeah, no, drive, CSM Drive Driver. He's altering the question. I'm dying to own it. Pray he doesn't alter it any further. Yeah. <laughs> I want it. All right. If this was like ten years ago, I would say mitten seal box, but now it's been another ten years. I just want a complete Gao King. Ooh, Gao. Nice. Ooh, Ooh yeah. That Wild Force was my first Power Ranger show. I always wanted a Wild Force Megazord. Gao King's pretty cool. And it's like I want I want that Gao King so badly. But that Gao King. That show came out like twenty, like almost thirty years ago don't, now. You don't try to king, look. At, don't want, try to get the very king of, like <laughs> special no. different colored swords. Those things go for fucking I, so much money. I might finally start putting money away so I can finally get it. Yeah. All right, we got so many questions to go, so we got to tighten this up a little bit. All right, yeah. Emily. That exclusive Yursen. I know I'm back to Yursen, but I really liked it. Oh and yeah, you wanted to. I couldn't drop the money. I just couldn't make myself do it. Also, the <laughs> giant, the giant Mofun plushie. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Yeah. Oh, the There's thousand the dollar Mofun. <laughs> God. Yes. God. All right, Paul. I'm sure that my. Sorry, sorry. I hate to cut you off, but we got no, we got no, no, so no. many more questions. No, no. Uh, oh, what? Yeah. Uh, my my answer is the final one from before. It would be the the it would be yeah the Black Sun Proplica like oh, the, yeah. with the moving parts. It's like five hundred bucks. But like it moves in exactly the same way as in the show, it and it's the arm motions, yeah, and it's really fucking cool. And All right. I want it. <laughs> cool. So, uh, D Sword Vega, baby. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. That and like legit Kaguragi's robe. I would wear <laughs> that. 
Okay, if I had to quickly pick one that actually exists, probably the memorial, uh, like, Don Morisame's sword. Oh, okay. That thing's so fucking cool. All the noises from it. That becomes its own question. Like, what, what sword or weapon would you want as an actual weapon? Oh, yeah. D-Sword Vega. Fucking yeah. dog head on the sword? God mm -hmm. damn. I would take, like, a, an act as an actual sword, the Odra Caliber Zero. Ooh, yeah. it, it's a royal artifact. It's ancient. It's golden. It's got so many different functions. Oh, All right. Next... We're moving on to questions that were chosen by Gar. Uh, this one was asked by Mazin ZX. What do you think are the biggest missed opportunities for team up movies in Toku? So team ups you want to see? No, no, no. Like, like what? What have they never done? No, no. Just the idea of if, if you watch a crossover movie, what's one thing you wish that they could do better? Okay. Okay. I'm. I'm just going to go ahead and say I don't think we get enough as many Rider Sentai crossovers as we used to. Like, we not only used to get movies, but also crossovers in episodes. Yeah. Boom Boom is kind of bringing that back, but it's not as much as, like, remember when, like, Gaiman took Yudra crossed over? Yeah. Like, like it was, like, it, it was an event because both, both shows took a break to do that crossover. Yeah. I like that shit. Uh, I, for me, I was saying, like, like sharing power sets, oh. like 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 I liked in the O's movie when like Eji had no choice but to use the birth driver. Like you just don't see like riders using other riders' powers. Like that's so. I, I think the only that. recent example I could think of is like the the fact that the dread driver gets passed around a lot. Yeah. Or, or uh, demons from revise. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like I, I would have liked like I know like seven people use Deke stuff. But I would have liked to see like the uh, Kiva use yeah. Deke about one time. Like I like that shit. Mm -hmm. They don't do mm -hmm. that enough. Mm -hmm. All right, go. Uh, for me, it's basically if you're gonna include these characters in the crossover, have a point. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, have a good story. But like, have, like, or if you're going to include, if you're gonna do a crossover like this, have it be that the stories are still going on in the other show. Like, hey, say Generations Final, mm -hmm. you had Ag in there, like from O's. His story is still going. He's still trying to figure out what, like, the stuff about how to address the narrative, basically. Yeah, yeah like yeah. Best example, reinforcements from the future from Wild Force. Mm -hmm. It continued the story of Time Force and also expanded Excellent on point. Like, mm. there are There are better ways to do with the crossover instead of just, we're all here to fight! Yeah! yeah. Morph, we're in the field. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Alright, Emily. Uh, what was the question again? What do you think are the biggest missed opportunities for crossovers in Toku? Okay. That might be a bit of a complicated question. If you don't have an answer ready to go. Dang, no, dang. Um, am I allowed to add Precure into this? Sure. Sure. Not just Precure. However, there have been multiple instances where Precure has crossed over with Sentai. Mm -hmm. Why the ever-loving crap have they not made an animated special where the Sentai show up in Precure? Yeah, yeah that would yeah. be neat. Cool. Yeah, they, awesome. did, they did that in the Ninja thing. It's cool. such seems almost obvious but they've never even done a short or anything the closest they've ever gotten was that dance segment with some of the cures in it and a commercial for like a barbecue restaurant that had um <laughs> what I need to say this i forget i forget what i forget what sentai was in it but it was yes pre-cure five um but in both instances what it did was it had like this the sentai in live action and then had the pre-cure animated over it and they've had such weird things as Shin-chan appearing in an episode of Precure. And Funyasi, the mascot, appearing. Why, why didn't they... Why haven't they had the Sentai go into the Precure's universe for an episode? See, now I'm just thinking about a barbecue-themed Precure, and I'm just thinking Cure Smoker, Cure Grilu, <laughs> and Cure Marinade. <laughs> I love, I'm not going to lie, I unironically love Cure Marinade as, as a Cure name. <laughs> yeah. All right, Paul, your answer. Uh, okay, so it's uh, not making the manga. So Kamen Rider Spirits is one of my favorite things ever. Why are we not doing, like, a Heisei version of that? Why are we not doing a Reiwa version of that, where all of these riders exist in the same continuity, but now we can draw them so we can get a little bit more nutso with it? I think the closest we have to that is the fact that there's a Zero One comic. Sure, that's <laughs> all, and that's awesome. I love that. But like, I would like to see more things in print, and I, I 
like using spirits as as like a baseline idea mm. i would like to see that i would like to see a sequel to spirits where it's the heisei riders like you know like we get a chapter for each of the riders but we also have a conglomerating threat that they all have to deal with yeah. and doing it over a longer period of time with shorter content so that you have more time to let the story breathe rather than a 90 to two to, to uh, two hour 90 minute to two hour movie doesn't seem to be taking advantage of drawn like media exactly in general. and yeah. that's my point yeah yeah like you can make it interesting i know it's not moving pictures or anything but like the power ranger comics prove like they, they exactly. those are also yeah. thing yeah. yeah exactly that's my missed opportunity i think there should be more of that yeah. all right so uh my missed opportunity actually pertains more again to power rangers the fact that power rangers didn't really take advantage like don't get me wrong they did great crossovers but what i'm talking about specifically is i wish they had done that thing where each season would end with like a big budget movie like, get some Hollywood... Mo- like, the original Power Rangers movie. Yeah. You do that, but you make it that we're passing the torch in the movie, you know? So, so you've just saw the Turbo movie. Yes, but better. Okay. <laughs> but, like, when I say Mr. Opportunity, the fact that they didn't keep that up. Because, like, yeah. you get, like, one misfire. Haha. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so, like, I think they should have done that a bit more. and Because then, again, we could see more, like... Big budget madness, you know, like, because yeah. yeah, they do like Toku crossover movies, like Sentai crossover movies, sorry, all the time, but they're like still relatively small budget, like, and they, they look like, you know, those costumes. Let's do what they did with the MMPR movie every time. <laughs> I like that. Sure. All right. That would be cool. Yeah. Our next question was asked by Midas, and it is favorite moment from previous Cast Ranger episodes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, as much, as much as my brain immediately defaults to the Don Sandwich moment, <laughs> I actually received a comment on a YouTube video of ours this morning that I shared. Um, we had a comment on the uh, episode 494, Utsu Semimaru cancelled. Hearing the absolute descent into madness with the King Oger Kyoryuger movie is one of the most glorious mental breakdowns I've ever listened to on the internet. And that's what made me realize... That was my favorite moment. Okay. Any, any moment where I get to explicitly point to something and go, that doesn't make sense. Why did you do that? When they pull the Chewbacca defense on Yeah. <laughs> Those are my favorite moments doing this show where I get to yell at something confidently. Sure. So the, just the breakdown over the entire hodgepodge of unnecessary plot threads that was the King Archer Curator movie that was that's been my fa- one of my favorite moments uh one of mine for me recently is probably Ichi's entire fucking descent into madness for Don Brothers <laughs> the whole year oh, so the whole year like, you, you, you all face down on the couch talking about an episode that was great. yeah <laughs> um, but one honestly that I remember really well was like it was with Cell was when we were talking about like movie ideas and then I just remember there's a certain point you can tell where he just stands up and he's just so fucking engrossed <laughs> into like the discussion. And it was just so it was so sweet. Thank you. They it. ended up using none of my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. They never did hey. their six part movie plan. <laughs> their mistake. Six <laughs> seasons in a movie. Thanks, Lloyd. Yeah. My favorite part is funny enough, I wasn't here for it. <laughs> <laughs> um you guys Talking about the first episode of Ultraman Orb. Oh, yeah. And basically, after, like, after Ultra Lie came to an end, like, I got to show you guys Ultra, like, that, Ultra Ranger, Ultra, like, there is more to Ultraman than just giant guy fighting giant monster in city. We looked at a picture of Orb, and it was X, and we were like, oh, it looks cool. You're like, that's X, you idiots! It's X, you fucking morons! <laughs> Land, you should have known that. <laughs> Emily. I apologize for interrupting, but I think that it should be brought up that Jiba's Overdress 2002 number sign 665 drew this picture of us as Pokemon for this episode. That yeah, I, I saw it. Somehow. Oh, I, didn't, That's great. I didn't see this. Look at me say. Oh, man. Look at that. We've, sorry, we well, didn't well know. Well done, Jiba. That's cool. Who's, who's everyone? Let's see. Uh, oh no, what am I? I need to be a dwebble. <laughs> I'm Escavalier. Lane is Aegislash. I don't recognize any of these guys. Emily's Dwevel. Uh, I'm blanking on the names of the other two. I'm not Where even, is I'm not even included. Eldegoss. <laughs> I'm not even there. It's just the main four. Yeah. That's a great picture, though. Thank you. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jiva. Very awesome, Jiva. I love the dinosaur blanket in the background, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, that I want. 
Uh, Emily, it's actually... Okay, apologies for the interruption. I just feel like that needed to be... Of course. ...addressed. Absolutely. It's also your turn. Yes. Okay, so question is... Favorite moment from Cast Ranger episodes. Oh my god, that is hard. Um... I'm kind of trying to think of moments that don't involve me specifically, but a lot of the moments I think back on are what times where I was an absolute idiot and you guys cracked up. It can be one of your moments. Yeah. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Mine's one of my moments. Fine. Okay, there was um the time that I didn't realize that Raven and his wife were even dating. <laughs> Good. So when you brought that up, I was like, wait, you're together? And then everyone lost it. I thought she was just some other person who hung out with you guys. <laughs> um, I apologize to everyone involved in that. Um, there was, of course, the famous incident in which I saw found a vending machine in Q Ranger that featured one of the options simply hot. <laughs> yep, hot. And legendary. I was laughing so much and. And and drinking water, and then Lane said, "Quick, get her some hot." And that hit me <laughs> so hard that I threw up all the water I was drinking uh, mid-drink okay. onto my legs. <laughs> like I didn't do a spit take; it came up from my stomach. Oh, <laughs> it it came up all over, and I was freaking. I, I promise it wasn't gross; like it was literally no. just water. Yeah. But it was so funny. Oh, my God. And then another moment, um, the time that we saw Godzilla, King of the Monsters, in theaters mm -hmm. and went to Boston Pizza. And I felt like you got, like, for the first, I mean, not for the first time, but, like, I found myself looking and thinking, like, oh, my God, these guys are my friends. Like, I made some bad choices in life. <laughs> no! These guys? <laughs> Don't worry, sometimes I think and that. And then at the end of, yeah, at the end, near the You're end of the lucky movie, to spoilers for <laughs> King of the Monsters, spoilers, I guess, but uh, there, near the end of the movie, when Mothra took a stinger out of nowhere and stabbed Rodan, Raven was sitting beside me and he elbowed me and he was like, this is the most useful Mothra's ever been in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what Raven and would say. Die, and then die in a fucking thing of flames that she always does. The most flammable kaiju. <laughs> Earth's most flammable defender. Oh, Mothra's the best. Yeah. All right, Paul. She's a being of rebirth. All right, Paul. What do you got? Earth tones? <laughs> Shania Twanger! Yeah! Ooh, Shania Twanger! I'll kill you! <laughs> yeah, when Lane said those words, and I lost my shit during the Nin Ninja season, yeah. I was like, that was the best. Best, I like my. Took my, me on air. I did. I, I was beat. Like, I I wasn't trying to hurt. No, I know you were. No, of course not. <laughs> no. But yeah, no, like uh, yeah. Rever crippled my windpipe. I feel like a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> I just flipped my shit, and the adrenaline was coursing through me, and, and I was and like, and every single time I bring it up, you just fucking go in the full bed. <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love this, and this is why you guys are all my friends, and I love you. Yep. Because that is one of the most classic, like interactions between this friend group that I can that I could possibly. Yeah, I need to go think back of. and listen to like the year of the ninja. <laughs> year two. Yeah. <laughs> year two. No. Cast yeah. Ranger year two. No. Shania Twanger is is yeah. It's okay. up there. <laughs> all right. So. Fire the ninjas! Yeah! Of course. <laughs> and then, like in general, anytime chaos reigns, honestly, that's when I'm in. It's like, oh my god, this is this is so great. Also, like about a month there ago, was... yes. No, I was just thinking there was there were all those times where like things actually happened outside of it, like the the pizza incident where our pizza was eaten by raccoon. Oh yeah. <laughs> Those old nature spirits at it again. Yeah. The other one I, I'm going to say is just because I only recently found out about this. I was watching some of the stuff we shot at AFK Con a while back. Oh, yeah. We pitched King Oger. <laughs> like, remember that? I showed you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why don't they do one about, like, uh, kings with the bugs and kingdom? <laughs> Something like that. Like, it was really close to what we ended up getting. Yeah. So that was funny to see again. Oh, wait, is listening. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question. This was asked by Jiva, 
and it is what moment in Toku has made you the most happy, made you smile, made you laugh, made your day better? For me, honestly, it's the good morning song from Kamen Rider Hibiki. <laughs> oh, hi, yo. Oh, hi, yo. Oh, hi, yo. Oh, hi, yo. Pretty good. For for me, for me, it's two. It's both from Drive. The one where like Chase is confronting Shinosuke and Kiriko about like loving the one another. That shit just such good fucking humor. Jessica. And then yeah, Jessica. and then the other one, of course, is from the Chaser movie, the Drive spit take. Like <laughs> that just. Oh, that was amazing. What? <laughs> like what? Oh, it's so it, nothing tops it. induction for. <laughs> Gar. Vice is death. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! That makes your day better? That makes no, you happy? No, no, that... Oh, wait, no, sorry, that's a different that's answer the, for another question. question. Jesus! That's the other question. Yeah. So what is it? Uh, Place is death. <laughs> no, <laughs> still that. No, all right, uh, no, scene that made me happy is the uh, the returning ranger scene in Go Kaiger, Go Sager, mm. where, like, all these other rangers are showing up, basically saying, like, you know, you guys aren't from Earth, but you're here to protect it. That's really great. And just the music in the background, knowing that Japan literally just went through like a natural crisis. And just these guys, they they didn't need to come back, but they came back anyways just to say, we're here to help no matter what. It makes me fucking cry. Because it shows, like, it's just the difference of like... It's supposed to be happy moments. Well, no, these actors, can't, like, these actors do care about coming back. Where with Power Rangers actors, they're just sometimes like, eh, it was a gig. We'll always be here whenever a paycheck is near. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Emily. Okay, I have two. One is more funny and the other is more heartwarming. Um, the funny one is Drunk Mabushina. Yep. <laughs> nice. I will never forget Drunk Mabushina. That was incredible. Um, the other is actually from Saber, believe it or not. And it's when Toma activated his power up by relating to the dragon in the story. Oh, that like episode, elemental dragon. That that whole episode, I remember after watching it, rushing to tell Spectre about it, and she knows nothing about Toku just because the themes in it resonated with us so much. Aww. that was a good one. So that has, that has to mean something. So that's another reason why I think if I watched Saber all the way through, like I like binged it, I think I would like it a lot more than I did watching it week week to week. Mm. Valid. Oh. Okay, I've also got a heartwarming and funny one, if I may. Yeah. All right, so for uh, funny, it's the lingerie store and fucking hentai common. <laughs> <laughs> when the lady gives, like, the... <laughs> when she, like, sees the guy... When she sees the main character in the lingerie store going to the... Movie's, Go, movie's legendary. Well, wearing, really well, wearing the, the pants. <laughs> we, talked, we talked about that. We lost that fucking recording. It's, and then we were like, no, we have to talk do about it again. on air. It yeah. Fucking killed me. Yep. And the second one was... A, but the second one, I, I was tossed up between two moments in King Oger. And I think that the moment that warmed my heart the most in King Oger was not the scene where all of the people of Shoe Godom got in a Shoe God and da 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 but it was when Rika, when it was when it was when Rita decided to live her truth and be an idol for a day. <laughs> oh God! A lot that of was really cute. A lot of people crap on that episode. I love it. I think I think it's a great <laughs> bit of character moment for Rita. I love the ambiguity of it being a toss up between her just doing it for justice and also things she wants to do. But I interpret it as something that she's always wanted to do, and I just loved watching her live her truth. Or their truth, their their yeah. binary, their truth during that scene. I think that that was fabulous. I think it was a bit, not only a great bit of Sentai, but a great bit, not a great bit of Toku, but a great bit of television. I thought it was great. All right, so um, also from King Oger, uh, just uh, Death Rock's death episode, like near oh, the yeah. end. Just like it was sad, but what makes me happy about it is like. He really realized, like, I think, okay, life isn't inherently bad. Like, there, there's, there can be change and growth, and it's, like, it's great villain stuff. Like, it's great, I don't know if he's redeemed at that point, but he's on his way, sort of thing. Yeah. And, um, it's just, it, it's very ice and fire, like, goes with the whole series, right? But in terms of a badass moment, fucking King Caucus Megazord 
standing up for the first time. That oh, yeah. makes me happy as shit. That's good shit. I've watched that so many times. I know that music is so good. Yep. And on the western end of things, I'd say anytime Bulk and Skull were heroes, because it's like anyone can do it. Frankly, yep. anytime Bulk and Skull are on screen. Yeah. <laughs> and to that effect, Ivan Ooze. That guy is on screen. Damn. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nope. I'm just I'm just <laughs> All right, next question. This one comes from ALX002. Why do you love Toku? <laughs> this was something we touched on in the previous Q&A, but my answer is not really that different. It, the suits are cool. The henchins are cool. The devices are cool. The weapons are cool. And it when it hits just right and strikes that perfect balance between serious drama and action and hilarious comedy nonsense, when they strike that balance just perfect, it's beautiful. I love it because it just caters to everything that my dumb autistic brain loves. Fucking cool flashy <laughs> like suits, great sound effects, just great eye candy, and lots of fucking shit for me to spend my money on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it here. <laughs> I love spending I love money on the investment. I love spending money on this franchise <laughs> so goddamn much. Genre, but yes. Yes, genre. Yeah. Sure. I like how different it can be. Like in terms of its like in terms of its concept, you can either have like a cyborg fighting stuff, a group of heroes, or you know even a guy from space who doesn't even come from here, but will still help us fight off the giant monsters at the end sure. of the day. Yeah, I love how different they can all be with it while still being in the same franchise, mm. and just like it's an actual art that these people are putting their heart and soul into. And when people just say, "Oh, it looks cheesy or it looks like crap," and it's like, yeah, I remember that. Like that was someone's job. Yeah, someone had to put time and effort into making that. Hmm. And especially, like especially some shows, they've been a good, in, like a big inspiration for me for my own, like my own work that I'm writing. Hell, one of the shows that I am working on, which is my pride and joy, is a American tokusatsu, like. Love letter to the friend, like to sure. to this stuff. Yeah, it includes the like the transformation gimmicks. The but also, but it's not just the gimmicks and the, and the cool designs. There's also the heart in the story as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's about quality, not quantity. Sure. Neat. Emily. Okay, Toku. I just ever since I was little, I've loved things about transforming heroes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I love I love magical girls, but I love Toku as well, and they kind of exist in the same spectrum. I I love the the gimmick items, I love the storylines, I love that they all have elements in common, but all of them have put a different spin on it. And I really like the characters, just the kind of characters who exist in those worlds are oftentimes the kind of heroes I like the most. So. I really enjoy Toku, and I really enjoy being able to talk about it with some really cool people. Mm -hmm. Who are they? It's <laughs> <laughs> other podcast. You, you guys! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, Paul. Um, I think I've answered this question before, but I, I'll, I'll, I, I don't think my answer is very much different. Earth tones. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but no. The direct lack of them. Um, so it's probably the blend of the down-to-earth practical effects of it... I mean, nowadays there's a lot more CGI in it, but, like, the idea of that it's supposed to look ramshackle, the idea that it's supposed to look like something you kitbash together from a bunch of props and, and built on the fly, the fact that it's meant to look aesthetically cheaper than, say, a big-budget movie, and yet, when I watch it, the writing and the acting and everything comes together to the point where my brain believes that this is just how things look in this world. That it makes me believe it. It makes me go, yes, this just, it, this looks cool to me. The fact that the, the these foam suits or rubber suits or what have you just come together to make me believe what I'm seeing on screen. I think that that's a truly beautiful thing. The idea to create something so convincing and so like, you know, believable and so likable that you just see this 
play that someone's putting on and you engross right into it and it becomes a world for you to enjoy. I think Toku is beautiful for that reason. That was pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, for me, it's just because it's so creative. Like, yeah. you're allowed to let idea, ideas, like, run and fly in any direction you want, really. You didn't know this world existed until we fucking brought you into it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew what Power Rangers was. You yeah, didn't know where we came from. <laughs> Um, and, and, and like, yeah, like Paul, you were saying, it can be a marvel to look at. Like sometimes you're just seeing stuff like, wow, I would not be seeing this anywhere else. Sure. Like at, at its best, it's pure George Lucas where you're using special effects to tell a story, not the story is an excuse to show special effects, Mm -hmm. but it is both in a way. And that works. I mean, Star Wars is Toku. Also a quick thing. I I noticed in the chat, uh, Moon asked if we had gone to their question about a headcanon. We're not doing that one, right? Uh, I don't believe No, I, 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 I purposefully chose not to choose it because I don't think that that's, a, that's something that we should be doing. Well, I'm going to do it right now because I've always had this one. <laughs> Vengex from RPM is the Vengex from Forever Red. That's my headcanon. <laughs> that it's a machine empire soldier that got jushed I into mean, the farce. An argument can be made for it. <laughs> <laughs> they got the same name. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to the questions that were chosen by Emily. Uh, this first okay. one, this first one was asked by both Digital Caster and Bronze Caster Chronicle, and its favorite Toku gimmick item. For me, it's honestly a tie between Wonder Ride books and Egg, and the Kishats from Exade. I could not pick one between them. Uh, I gotta say, for me, honestly, it's probably Astro Switches because, like, I love their fidget toys the stuff. Yeah, and that was kind of the precursor to those. And like, my favorite specific Astro Switch is probably the camera one because I just really like. Pressing oh, I didn't even think it. about like saying like specific favorite ones. If I had to pick favorite ones, uh, for Gashat, I I'm I'm just gonna go with the obvious answers, and it'll be Lion Sankey and Tattle Quest. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I love Astro Switches. Uh, for me, it'd be ranger keys. Oh, it, it's just you know, it's your representation of a ranger in a little tiny, like in a little tiny plastic form. It's pretty cute. Emily, Emily. Okay. Um, I just realized that it, may, it seems like I'm obsessed with spherical objects. I swear I'm not. But the icons and the Qtama are probably my favorites. I one? really like the icons. I love the the clickiness of them. I like that they're totally analog and don't require batteries, and I love the sounds they make in in the in the driver. So, I'm sorry, I like Ghost. <laughs> it's, yeah, fine. it's fine. Own it. You like to. Oh. But I think the answer they might be supplanted by the um the Gochizo. Oh yeah, that because be... oh my god, I am in love with those things, but I didn't want to answer them because we don't act technically know them yet. I think we have enough to go on them to say. Anyways, oh Zactors. I don't know that we can count those as gimmicks. <laughs> I know I can use them, I think. Are they more transformation items? Oh, no. Okay, I will I will allow them purely on the grounds that the same belt for both Kabuto and Gatak use the same belt, but different things that go in the belt. Sure. Yeah, By that they... merit alone, I will allow Zectors as gimmicks. Technically correct is correct. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best kind of correct. Exactly. Yeah. They're your little, they're your little r- robot buggy friends who come out of a little wormhole, beat the shit out of your opponents lightly, and then come to your hand so that you can finish the fucking job. They, go, <laughs> they, got, bu- they got buttons. They got, like, cast off is so fucking cool and tactile. Like, I love how when you, when you pull back the horn or whatever the appendage that you're doing on the Zector, like, you know... If you're covered in tachyon particles and it just makes you look so cool. Yeah. Uh, 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 ca- uh, uh, clock up is a cool uh, mechanic. If I can't, if, if I, if, if that wasn't allowed, I would pick lock seeds. Okay. Because, I mean, lock seeds are great. I'm just surprised no one did. Well, lock, lock seeds are great too. I should have mentioned those too. <laughs> yeah, sure. But yeah, I would have to say sectors. It's, even if it's only technically correct, I'm going to go. The ahead. other example is the Kabutech writers from the movie. Same brace, three different things that go in it. Sure. So oh. I would feel like there that was a precursor. They they made a precursor idea that yeah. led towards the the gimmicky stuff in the future. So, oh. uh, motherfucking progress keys right over there. They so, are very very cool. Those are hands down. Like, I love how they look, how they move, how they feel in your hand. Like it's animal themed. 
And like, I just <laughs> but especially that little when you flip it is like the mechanical underneath. Yeah. Like I love shit like that. Yeah. I would also say the power coins, like the MMPR power coins, very yeah. simple, but you know who doesn't love a cool coin? Yeah. With a dinosaur on it. Fisher. Sure. All right. Collect them all. <laughs> all right, we're getting there. We're, we're almost done. Uh, this is this is a fun one. This was asked by ALX002. If you were a Gov common Rider, Ooh. what food would be your gimmick? What would your Gov Gochizo be? I think I got a good one here. Mine would be smart food popcorn. <laughs> Surprised up. Heck yes! Because, uh, because then the form would look intelligent. Mine, honestly, like, it would just be, like, either, like, Chocolate peanut butter, or like a mint chocolate, I like writer. So Reese's form. Sure, <laughs> Reese's are after eights. Man, yeah. I would want that so bad because it would be orange too. My <laughs> my, my, my rider, but my, you stole it. My gap rider would just be Conrad Valen, but he'd be mint chocolate instead of white chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so have green on him instead of white. It gives him ice powers. Oh. Yo, he's got a hood. Mint and he's super cool. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro. Gar, no comment. <laughs> he, hasn't, he hasn't seen any of guys. Emily. Okay, this is gonna sound super random. I thought of this far more than any any sane person should. Uh, you know what? Uh, you, you'll see when we get to mine. This, you said this is gonna be your season, so <laughs> you're the one to put the thought into it. Nachos. <laughs> well, Emily. Uh oh, did you cut? Uh, I'm not hearing you if you're talking. Oh, oh. The Ace Bakery Cheddar Baguette Crisp Tried. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's so specific. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Wow. So they're, they're really good. Okay. I love them. Alternately, this is probably one that we're even going to get, but canned peanuts. I would like to be Ooh. a canned peanuts. Right? <laughs> That'd be good. Nice. Or ice cream, but I'm sure that's going to be in there too. Oh. Um. Nacho cheese Doritos. <laughs> yeah, right. I hate to say oh, it. Yeah. They are the perfect snack. <laughs> is, your, is your weapon like you crop like dust them? Dorito yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dorito Shuriken, like a giant Dorito. Oh, just man. Throw people. Yeah. It'd be sick. Yeah. No. You could just shoot smaller Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> cool, either, either that or TGI Friday, either that or TGI Friday's cheddar, ba cheddar bacon potato skin chips. Oh. But Jesus. They're my favorite chip of all time, but God help Appetizer me, if that's, form. Not, that's not going to be a like thing. So nacho skin. cheese Doritos. I've only I've only heard of them. I've never tasted them, but they sound amazing. They are delicious. I didn't even think about shit like restaurant appetizers. Now I'm picturing like a mozzarella sticks form. <laughs> mac and, mac and not, cheese no, bite. Oh my God. God. I'm not I'm not talking about I'm not talking about TGI Friday's potato skins. It's a it's a potato chip variant. No, the chip that, flavored. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they they just it's it's potato chips that are just, they just have the skin on them. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> freeze dried like, candy would be a good one. I'm seeing in the chat. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever had freeze dried? Or candy? trail oh, yeah, mix. Yeah. Cool. Trail mix would be good. Mochi yeah. rider. So all right. It's so weird because I like I I don't like gummies, but I like freeze dried gummies. Nice. Yeah. All so. right. So for me, I decided to go with. Jawbreakers. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he would like he'd be a lightning bruiser because you know the center is sour, so I, I interpret that as electrical power to some degree. And, giant like jawbreaker maze. No, it's uh, it's on a chain like oh the yeah, ball flail yeah, like, jawbreaker. Oh, that's break awesome. Your and like jaw. the Twilight Princess one. And yeah. Angus was his, his name. name. Awesome. Dude. <laughs> I, Jawbreaker is something I could see them actually doing too. Yeah, maybe. I, I just went with candy. I thought you know? it would be more like Suica arms, and you would just turn into a giant jawbreaker. A giant <laughs> jawbreaker mech suit. Damn. Oh, damn. You know, what you're just like a rolling uh, orb that opens up into a robot. <laughs> you know what else would be cool? Pop rocks. Yeah, I, I was oh. actually, oh, I was debating between that and pop rocks. I actually mm. was like, I was like something explosiony. <laughs> That'd be flashy. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, jawbreaker. <laughs> Very cool. They're like jubilee powers. All right, our next question comes from Dimension, and it is Precure All-Star F when? And for that, I'm going to immediately turn over to Mr. Gar, who handles our schedule. Um. <laughs> Want me to take this one, Gar? No, no. The answer. No, no I'll, I'll, okay. The, so, okay, short answer is... No. <laughs> no, no, no. No. No, the short answer is maybe. No. I'm not opposed to pre-cure being not, on the schedule. I'm not opposed to it. It's, it's a it, lot else to get the thing through. Is that, 
Yeah, that all stars. If there's any precure thing we should be doing, it's that movie because that movie is maybe one of the best things they've ever done. It, it is just the thing though of like ninety percent of the cast here don't watch Pretty Cure. I don't and watch Common Rider. Them a- better perspective on it because yeah. it is even though it's a crossover movie it, ha- it focuses on unique characters yeah i've watched precure and i do like it yeah. so i may the answer is maybe okay same goes okay. for all the others when are we going to get to blank the answer is maybe in the future <laughs> we need people posting in the comments telling us that you want it it's right. true. We're like any YouTube creator or influencer. We will follow the whims of our audience. If enough people shout up about it enough, then we then we we have only but to answer. I mean, like if you want to go with the literal answer and say that Precure isn't live action, therefore it's really well, not focused well, on. Well, no, it's not. It's we've not, done yeah, it before. It's just yeah, we've, we've done, done Precure before. before. Yeah, it's got a lot to talk about. It, it's mm-hmm. just there is a lot else. Yeah. yeah. It's okay, Car. I know it's late. And tired. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, minute. Uh, the next question on our list, I actually thought about for a long time, and I couldn't come up with an answer for. And this was asked by Tiger Caster Rice Bowl. Who's a Toku character that isn't really talked about that you think should be talked about more? And this is unfortunately where my terrible, terrible memory comes into play. In that I could not think of one. Lane puts his hand up. Said guys are black. <laughs> Fuck you. No, I'm serious. Said guys are black. What? He's talked about plenty. Not enough. Wait till you get to my answer. We didn't know what it was. Okay, I will. I will. Allow, I will allow that under the context of the series that has yet to fully explain his existence. Yeah. No. So guys are black. The guys are black. All right. Uh, character that doesn't get talked to talked to a whole lot. Uh. Shit. Well, no comment. I can't really think of one. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, He's tired. Mm-hmm. Been doing this for like four and a half hours. I'm starting to get tired. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Emily? My first thought was we need more on George. How did he get so obsessed with common writers in the first place? <laughs> I mean, yes, we have... We we need more George. I wouldn't say he's not talked about. No, we know everything about George. But we would. Yeah. I would absolutely not object to more George. Yeah. Another is please make an entire movie about how Misao became um, Zero of the World because that story is dark as ever loving crap and they just sort of glance over it and I feel like it's almost at the time where people who have watched it as kids would be old enough oh. to appreciate a movie where they go into detail about that. So you want to see I the whole process it. of like them torturing the life out of these three humans? I don't nec- no, I don't necessarily want to see that. That's not what I mean. I want to see how it impacted him and changed him. Uh, yeah, that's fair. That means that'd be interesting. Oh. Alright, Paul. Oh. Um I just missed him. Yeah. I mean we already got our ghost answer with the Spectre movie, so mm. Narutaki. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he was never fully explained. So it was bullshit. Who's this? Yeah, uh, from from Common Rider he's, Decade. He's mostly oh. from Decade, but he was in a few things afterwards. Yeah, he, where he's he just like, for, oh no, Decade. Yeah, like the meme, oh, oh, no, the yeah, either that or Taki from the well, Taki from the original Common Rider, like his his little buddy, sort of, like Hongo's little buddy character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I liked him in Common Rider Spirits. He was really cool. He had a really badass moment. He has one of my favorite quotes of all time. Even if there is no God or Buddha, there will always be Common Rider. One of the great lines that I've ever heard uttered. Yeah. So, all right, my answer might seem weird, but uh, Rackley's. Like, yes, he's talked oh. about. Don't get me wrong. There is so much more to this guy that we need yeah. to know. That, I, like, I will file him along with George in pl- talked about plenty, would never object to more. Exactly. And like... It, a big part of that yeah, comes from, from this actor who I just think like nailed it oh, completely. Yeah. So like, and, and great news is I feel like we are going to see some more about him, but just, yeah, I think he's one of the most interesting characters the, the genre has ever created. Yeah. So more of Rackley's please. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Uh, next, oh, yeah, I agree with him too. Next question was asked by Bronze Caster Chronicle. If you had to review a season of Rider from before CR began, what would it be? Just to clarify, I think this question was asked about. Ju- uh, I don't. 
This question, oh, I accidentally picked this one too. Fuck. Yeah, this one was chosen by two people, but I decided to split this up. One as Ryder and one as Sentai. Okay. Um, so first we're going to talk about Ryder. So uh, for me, I would love to go back and dis- discuss Kiva. Kiva was, aside from... Oh, that's, that's my answer too. When, so. I, when I first started watching Tokusatsu, the first season I watched was Kabuto, and I marathoned that in like a weekend. And that was around the time when Kiva started airing. So Kiva was the first series I started watching as it was airing, and it was so good. Uh, Ichi, skip to me. That's my answer too, because uh, Kiva seems something I'd be yeah, interested in. Yeah, it was my answer. Mm. Wow, nice. like I like I like the, the look of it, the fun idea of it, how it's in two times at once. It's it's got like, and I like the motifs of like the bats and chains. It's like yep. classic movie monsters, right? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, I'm in. Mm. So that's uh, my answer as well. My simple go Kaiser because there's just so much to fucking break down for that show. I would love to talk about. We just have to point out and explain every reference, every episode, every week. That's, All right, that's now, what YouTube is now. Would be perfect uh, for for Ryder. For Ryder, honestly, probably Agito. Agito would be fucking sick to talk mm. about. Okay, well, let's just merge these two questions together. We were, so, uh, if in terms of Sentai, I would go back and we would talk about Magi Ranger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Picking everyone's that's answers, that's also my answer. <laughs> Wow! And can I just can I, can I'm I just kidding. add to that because that would be my answer too. I I put a lot of thought into this, right? And I looked at I looked at the time schedules that would have been because, like you know, it's it's never a one to one kind of thing in terms of times. Like something's always half over when something's always starting. Ever since I mean, decade. Yeah, but well, no, because like. I look back at the time period and I would have done the period between, I think, 2005 and 2006 when Hibiki was was the first one that we would have done. And that would have led into and halfway through that would have Magi Ranger would have started. And then halfway through Magi Ranger, Kabuto would have started mm-hmm. like that would be the I wish that we had started in 2005, 2006, like something like that, so that we could have covered those three shows and seen the a uh, dedication to uh, Shotaro Ishinomori, like through Hibiki, and I would have had some words for that because I think Hibiki is a mixed bag. But then we mm-hmm. would have led right into Maji Ranger, and halfway through Maji Ranger, we would have started Kabuto, and I think that I would have just thrived, and I would have been obsessed. I would have just, I would have, I would never be taking breaks if we just started with that. All right. Anyone else have anything else to add about Ryder or Sentai? You would like to talk about Cast Ranger? I'd like to do a Z Ranger. I just can't believe we have the same answers. <laughs> yeah, like go back to the one that started at what MP- MMPR. I'd like to actually watch that show. Yeah, for this that'd be an interesting thing. Yeah. I, uh, for Common Rider, it would just be the little shit that I am. Uh, the original. <laughs> all I wish I was 75 all, 90 something episodes. all 98 episodes god no oh my what god. is this VR Troopers uh, <laughs> no uh, no uh, for real though uh, Kabuto uh, yeah Kabuto for yeah. for me mm-hmm. uh, for Sentai probably Ghost Ager I wouldn't mind us talking about more Ghost Ager mm. yeah Right. Or Gokaiger, because just so I can prove how much of a fucking nerd I am. <laughs> that that would be interesting for me to take a back seat and watch you be the one who analyzes and explains everything. Yeah, just all right. Let's see this is. <laughs> I hope that was audible. <laughs> if it wasn't, Bear cracked his knuckles. <laughs> all right. Uh, moving on to the list of questions that Paul chose. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one was asked by Vegas. You have to say something nice about a toku you don't like and something bad about your favorite toku. What do you say? Uh, so for me, obviously the answers here are Don Brothers and King Oger. Uh, I will say Don Brothers made me feel my own emotions more intensely than any other show we've talked about. You can say that about a lot of things, though, Ichi. I, so I, I enjoyed riding the emotional high of my own anger. <laughs> That's a uh, kind of emotion. <laughs> and for King Oger, as much as I love it, it's a fucking terrible tokusatsu show. <laughs> no roll calls, almost no stock henshins. Awful. Like, Zero to ten. <laughs> only Red got a super form, and it was several super forms eventually, and no one else got one. And, like, their weapons are so weird. <laughs> Good answer. Um, for me... Soldier had nice designs. <laughs> <laughs> this is so innocent. I love cool. it. Yeah, no. Re- Re- Soldier gave us Dino Fury. Yeah. 
Um, I couldn't think of anything bad to say about Drive because I think Drive's perfect. <laughs> Bullshit, you know. I wish it existed twice. <laughs> uh, I wish I wish Bennett got a fucking rider for him. It's bullshit. There you go. <laughs> uh, I wish Shinosuke had gotten his uh, Godzilla car sooner. <laughs> <laughs> like just drop Trider on, just you know, a Nissan GTR. Uh, I think the the aesthetic in X Aid was actually pretty good. Ooh. I like the designs of it. I just mm-hmm. personally didn't like the whole, oh, no one's technically not dead. They're just stored away in day. That's like, so that sort of defeats the whole concept of death for this show, all right? Uh, something bad about one of my favorites. Uh, just stick with Common Rider. Revice, although I like it a lot, I feel like. I feel like the fandom could be better to it. <laughs> that, you know what, that's going to be my response. Mm. The fandom could treat that show better. Oh, fuck you, Revice fandom. <laughs> Emily? 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 Okay. For, I, yeah, I might be cheating a bit, but for Saber, I do really like the whole concept of it a lot. I love the idea of defending the worlds of stories. I love the ride books. And I really like Toma's attitude. It just didn't come together in a way that was all that interesting for me. And I guess I could go with Ghost, even though it's, I don't know if it's my favorite Toku ever, but objectively, it's not a good show. Like, that's the thing. I I know it's not a good, I know it's not a good show. I'm going to rewatch and change your mind. (laughs) I know that it's, I know that it's annoying. There's a whole order what takes place happening or thing. There's, the plot goes kind of nowhere. The rules don't make much sense. Um, there are things like him wanting to eat with his friends when he's alive, when he can just do that now. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, objectively, it's not a good show, but it's junk food for me. I like goats. <laughs> no, dude. All right, Paul. The twist that they're all children in Tokyuger was masterful. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Spoilers for those who have not seen Tokyuger. <laughs> not a big fan of the show is it in its entirety. That twist is one of the better twists it I've ever seen. It makes so much fucking sense. Yes, yeah. the way they it were. made everything make sense. <laughs> that explains and why they're all impetuous. And Akira was their babysitter. <laughs> yeah, I. That was. Bravo. Yeah, I mean, Jeremy the babysitter. It's a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful idea. I love that. Cut to him not, a big fan, not a big fan of the show. There's a reason why I watched it for charity. Um, <laughs> it's a time to a chair. Yeah. Um, I remember that night. Yeah. And uh, for my favorite one, uh, the cooking arc in Kamen Rider Kabuto was a massive waste of time. I really love Chia <laughs> as a character, but we didn't need an entire uh, arc dedicated to that just big... Just to explain his character a you little ruined, bit. It, ru- took, it took up way too much of the show, and you it, ru- it annoyed me. And you ruined Kabuto's awesome, amazing design by putting a chef's hat and an apron on him. Yeah, How <laughs> dare you? That's, that's, that's a... Oh, that's wait wait a minute. Are you saying that Kabuto has a whole arc about cooking in it? Yes, because yeah, Tendo's like a master chef. Yeah, so. the, the dark knife arc. Yes, it, it didn't need to be there. <laughs> and then, we, and then, we it, then we found out his actor actually couldn't cook for shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, you have made me want to watch it even more. Uh, that's great. Uh, it, I, I'm not. I'm not saying yes. that. It, I'm not saying that I'm sitting there going mumble grumble. Why is this here? Um, but I am saying it has nothing to do with fucking anything, <laughs> and the show takes a massive halt just to focus on it. So it bothers me quite a lot. But it's still my favorite. It's, it's still my favorite rider. Like uh, the the fact that I can say that and everything else around it shines so much. Just yeah. So, you guys know me. I'm usually positive about things. I have very few bad things to say about anything. You know. <laughs> sure. Uh, K- K- King Oger, honestly, great show. Love it. I will admit there is a reliance on green screens I could have done without. Sure. Like, it-, it did make some of the settings feel stale after a while. Like, Garth mm-hmm. brought this up before. And it's, a, it's, a, it's not an incorrect aspect. It's also, I- I've said this before on the show, I think, I would not show that to someone as their first Sentai. No, absolutely like, not. So that is an interesting. It's the least Sentai Sentai out there. Exactly. Mm. So, okay, to say something good about a show I dislike, 
I don't like Power Rangers Turbo. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know everyone here loves it. I don't. How dare you? I. Th its biggest problem is it's sandwiched between two great seasons, Zio and Space. Yeah. Right. So the positive I'll give it though has one of the best theme so songs. They weren't sandwiched; they were baked into a pizza. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, rescind what I said. <laughs> It's a calzone of game. Game. The music is amazing, as always, from Rasterman. The theme is one of the best Power Rangers Blue Centurion is the coolest fucking thing ever. Blue Centurion. As, as great as it is, I think if I had to pick between Turbo and Zeo, I would go with Zeo. As your least favorite? No, as, fa as like, favorite. That's oh. what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that's what I, that's my And from a logistics perspective, why would you go from the Zeo powers to the Turbo powers? <laughs> There's no real, there, there's no reason to mystery. make that switch. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, I think we should start. All right. Yeah, we got, we really we got, got like not too many. We're going to tighten this up because we have less than an hour. All right. Uh, favorite Sentai of the 2010s, as asked by Chronicle. My answer is 2017's Q Ranger. Yes. Real good. Tokyuger! <laughs> Zoo Ranger. <laughs> Emily. Mine's also Q, mine's also Q Ranger. Go Kyger. Q Ruja. Ooh. Uh, to what I was saying with that, that is a show I would recommend as someone's first Sentai. Yeah, we've really been watching. Cool. We've been getting putting you through it a little bit. Yeah, I would have said Go Kaiger, but Go Kaiger is age like fine wine. You have to go watch other seasons that came before. I was it. gonna say go absolutely back. not Go Kaiger because it's full of references to old Sentai that no one will get. Hi, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that was the I first know. season for me. I know what happened. <laughs> yeah, and that and you had to go back and watch every other Sentai. You cursed yourself. <laughs> Uh, all right, next question from Red Hood 22. What's everyone's favorite thing about our specific chunk of the Toku community? You guys aren't toxic. They are next question. <laughs> that is yeah. pretty much Everyone's the answer. super nice, <laughs> encouraging, and funny as shit. The sheer, <laughs> sorry. The sheer fact that we have fans at all makes my heart explode. That is yeah. amazing. No, you guys are amazing. They, they laugh at our jokes. My kind of people. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, from Cybermon81, top WTF moments in Toku that Cast Ranger has seen. Don Brothers! <laughs> I was going to say Drunk Mabushina. Yeah. <laughs> Dark. Um, no comics. I can't really think of one off the top of my head. Um, just on um, why Wyatt and this community is great? No, no, it's like top what the fuck well, moments in Toku. What well, guy's got one? Oh. oh, oh, okay. Let go first. Oh my god. Um, okay, there was the there was the sandwich. <laughs> there was the sandwich. You know. There was the sandwich. <laughs> okay, there was that episode. I forget which Sentai it was where everybody turned into like either being obsessed with like a specific type of was it Kashu Emochi? Kashu yeah. Emochi Kashu from Zenkai. Oh, you hates that word. Oh god. Oh, it's Emochi World. Yeah. Kashu Emochi. Um, yeah. There was also the um, emoticon heart body invasion episode um, of um, uh, Ryu Soldier, oh, yeah. where it showed an x-ray of what was presumably a human heart, but it was like a heart emoji. <laughs> oh. yeah. All right. All right. That was a weird episode. Um, All right, Gar's turn. What? All right. Uh, it took me a while. I'm like, okay, what the fuck? What's one of the things that just made me go, what the fuck? Rider Time, Common Rider Ryuki. The three characters are sitting at the table. <laughs> oh, yeah. All, just having... Like, having their... One of the guys just gets up with the knife, proceeds to stab the other dude, and Ichi's the, Ichi was there with me. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And then those two characters, who aren't the dead guy with the knife, knife in his fucking chest... Proceed to go to bed and have sex with each other. And mind you, they're both men, so that just raises more oh. questions. And there's no context at all for that entire scene. It just shows up out of nowhere and makes you go, what the fuck? No, and I'm pretty sure he took the knife out and he continued kind of staying with it. I think, I think <laughs> he did. How many times have you had this dream? <laughs> five times. Okay. Yeah, two riders fucking dead sex together. They killed a dude awesome. and then had gay sex. Yeah, it's gay sex. yeah gay sex, whatever. That happens all the time. You, all that's laissez-faire for, for fucking That's toys. the most normal thing I've ever heard. That's how they get it up, okay? <laughs> well. The moment in Kamen Rider X when his father jor him an entire fortress of solitude <laughs> somehow 
as a fucking hologram, hears him bitching, goes, miss me with that fucked up pussy shit, and explodes the, li the, the library. in the sunset as he does it. And decides to laugh as it explodes and his son runs away. <laughs> we love that Comrade Rex here. It's my favorite oh, and I love it. And it just fucking hits me every time because I'm confused, I'm elated, and I just question the logistics of all of it. Yeah. All right, so... Top what the fuck moment in uh, in, in this uh, series, huh? Well, I never would have thought that exploding chickens and starfish Hitler of X would have been topped. Oh. But then, Zoltar happened. <laughs> That's it. All right. If we're talking about starfish Hitler, Crocodile Fuhrer. Crocodile Fuhrer. Oh, God. <laughs> big one. Yeah, big one is Hitler. Jesus Christ. All right, now we're going into the questions that Sal picked. This was asked by Jerry, and it is uh, top moment in Togo that made you cry. For me, it is Shotaro and Philip near the end of Double. I will not elaborate. Mm -hmm. uh, me is definitely the moment when George realized that he really missed his dad and he wanted to spend more time with them. That fucking hit me like a ton of bricks. So, yeah. See, now I can bring up Vice's death. <laughs> so Vice's death. So. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Been waiting for this for years. That, that scene of him just hanging out with Icky Iki, and he has the two get two vice stamps in his hand, and then he starts to die. It made me fucking cry, and that's why I told these guys. And they didn't bring him back. It wasn't this Deus Ex Machina. Oh, he's back now. No, they Ryder finally had the balls to kill off a Ryder, and it made me sad because the the mascot character for that season was the most human of them all. And it made me cry, oh, and thus I love became like my favorite common writer show. Period. Yep. So we got you that belt, man. Emily. Wait, wait was, is this the moments that made you cry? Yeah. 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 Dear God, that's a hard one. Um, I'm once again thinking back to that episode of Saber. <laughs> to be completely honest, that really hit me for some reason. Fair. Um. There were also, it's weird because I'm think I can't really remember individual episodes right now. It might be because I'm starting to get really tired. We're we're almost, we're almost done. done. But but there's no, I'm I'm not. That wasn't a slight on you guys. It was no, a slight okay. on me for failing to answer the question. But there are a lot of moments, especially in finales, where characters sort of do their speeches and give their summaries of who they are and why they're doing what they're doing that hit really. Well, and I think that th those kind of sincere speeches are something Toku in general has done really well every time I've seen it. Do you have any specific example? Weirdly, no. <laughs> also, the lyrics to the ghost theme song. Oh, okay. Also, also the lyrics to be the one. Don't make a boy. Way. Like, they... <laughs> no, not that part. <laughs> And no, not and no, not the um part in the revised theme song that suggests you feel the wind on your balls. <laughs> That's what they're I for. Like that, make you want to die. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my god! I forgot about make you want to die. It sounded exactly like that. I know. All right, we gotta move on. All right. The theme song suddenly hits her. It's just make you want to die. All right, Paul. Oh, Paul. Okay. Um, the moment when. The people of Shugodam jumped into the uh, Shu gods and combined with King Oger Zero in order to defend Shugodam from a threat. Oh, well, it wasn't King Oger Zero. It was when they formed God King Oger. That's what I mean, yes. Uh, that was the moment that I feel like the people around him finally acknowledged Gira and saw him as a proper king. Nice. I, it, it just... I love it. It's magic. Uh, gotta be Death of the Magna Defender and... Um... Lost Galaxy. Oh, oh, holy shit. Well, he's walking through the fire. Oh, fuck. And, like, and just that little flare up, and then suddenly he's holding his son's hand. And oh. like, I, it's it's also great in Ginga Man, where it's his brother, but but just, it's great framing. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Just like it's sacrifice, but doing it like, like proudly, like in a way. 
Like, whereas before, he didn't care. Scorpius killed my son. Mm -hmm. All right, next question was asked by YOLO, and it, favorite writer show based only on the aesthetic? For me, the answer is Saber. I fucking love the aesthetics of that series. The driver, the suits, the modularity of how it's got, like, the three sections to it. All the elemental aspects of it. The backgrounds during the stock engines. The aesthetics on that show were so on point until they weren't. <laughs> uh, for me, probably X Aid, just because like I liked the the eyes and like the cool game X like Snipe looked fucking awesome, and I just yeah I love all the video game stuff with the Hellfires. O's. Oh yeah. I really like the character designs in O's, and I feel like they would work really well if the show were to be adapted into like an American setting. Emily. Um, I'm gonna have to also say X Aid. I will always love the fact that they have big anime eyes on their riders, and I love the way that they start out as chibi versions before getting bigger, like Mario. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anything will ever hit quite the way that did. Oh, Saber. It, it, those forms slap. Like right. even if I was to just only look at the base forms, they the drip is real. Like. Blades is still my number one favorite suit it's, in all Toku. It's, it's everything I've ever wanted. Like, it's great. So oh. double. I love that hard line between the colors. Really? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I love the look. My great. one complaint about double is I think the suits are too plain for but double that, himself. See, that's what I kind of like though, because it's just the, it's just that duality between them. You know, yeah. Yeah. It just something about it clicks for me. And I think there's something to be said in beauty and simplicity. Yeah. Honestly, I think the way that the Saber Rider suits are divided into three sections is like the next evolution of Double's aesthetic. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just, I think it's cool. Especially uh, Cyclone Joker. Just, that's badass looking to me. Valid. All right, next question. This is from Cybermon81. Uh, favorite Digimon and favorite Pokemon? I want to say that they actually only asked a favorite Digimon, but I was like, while we're here. Okay, sure. Yeah. So for me, favorite Digimon, I. I don't. I'm not caught up on Digimon as a whole franchise, but currently my favorite Digimon is Hexablaumon. Uh, and for Pokemon, I have the most niche answer in the entire franchise, and it is the blue Mega Scizor that you can only see in Pokémon when two Scizors are fighting each other. You yeah. best. <laughs> that's, that's a good. That's a good answer. It's well thought out. Uh, favorite Digimon, Machine Dramon. Nothing cooler than that. Nothing will ever be cooler than Machine Dramon. And favorite Pokemon is Slowbro. Favorite Pokemon, awesome. Machine Dramon. <laughs> machine Dramon, Machine Dramon, Machine Dramon. Uh, fa favorite Digimon has to be the Gilmon evolution line. Cheating a bit because it's the entire evolutionary line, but I like Gilmon. Uh, favorite Pokemon? Ooh. I'm not sure. Is it Trico? No, Trico is like one <laughs> of my favorites, but it's not like the pick. <laughs> you know what? I think. I think it would have to be slacking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is your perfect yeah. Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two, where's the shattered grid read? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. I was, was going to ask that. Too. <laughs> Stop just messing with you. Emily. Okay, my favorite... Did, weirdly, I have answers right away for this one. My favorite Digimon are Calumon and Wormmon, and I also really like... um. A kind of obscure one called Puchimon, which is a possible yep. evolution of Wormmon that is based it. on the toy Primopule, also by Bandai. If Wormmon could armor evolve, like that, that would be his form. But you know what? We can't pick Puchimon it's because he returned to his his planet needed him. <laughs> Not that Puchimon. <laughs> the bee. People should always be asking, "Where's um, Puchimon?" <laughs> And my favorite, my favorite Pokemon are Apom, Meryl, Alcremie, and uh, Togepi. I am not shocked at all that you picked Alcremie or any of those, quite <laughs> frankly. Alcremie's pretty cool. And and their their lines, but to tell you the truth, I actually like like every Pokemon ever. Oh, my starter is Mudkip. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, uh, Digimon. Itmon. He's my he's he's my Digimon partner. I love Itmon to bits. Uh, if I could, I'd bio-merge with him to become Bielzmon Blast Mode. It would, it, it would be so fucking cool. Uh, I and it's, and you know what? He he I just love the idea of a Digimon who's, who's attacking. Bada boom! It's good. 
Uh, Pokemon, I make no secret of this. Alakazam. That's Abra true. is my starter. Abra awesome. is my Abra is my starter. Abra is my buddy. Abra is my forever friend. Nice. I once made Abra out of paper boxes for a jump for a masked thing for no apparent reason. I just love him. I love him. He's great. I just love him because it, it took several generations for him to get an to get an offensive move. You had to have a lot of patience with him, but the payoff was amazing. He's still one of the most powerful in the game. Exactly. Nice. Zam is has been a a brilliant choice for like a sweeper since Gen One, and I I love him. He's timeless. All right. So, um, so for me, like the big problem always comes down to: do I pick the Tyrannosaur or do I pick the Wolf? And Digimon, unfortunately, put him right there. So split the difference. Omnimon. Oh. <laughs> you get, I get them both. Uh, otherwise, I, I also like really like Cedramon from back in the like. Base ass Yeah, I just that, thought it was that, cool. Yeah. <laughs> that was my hair. <laughs> or, and uh, Ragermon from uh, O2, I Ragermon just thought it was cool. And Lady Devimon for reasons. Cat <laughs> uh, <laughs> <for>, fight! <laughs> for Actually, Poke Digimon aren't divided into gender. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> uh, for Pokemon, easy Cubone. He's my favorite. He's my Pikachu, always and always. Mm. I'm also a big fan of Haunter and Articuno, and for reasons, Lopunny. <laughs> <laughs> and if I, and if I may give a, a runner up for my Digimon in terms of like Omega, uh, look up Brigadramon. It's fucking dope as shit. Yeah, like, I didn't know Brigadramon existed until you told me about it. It's so mm. fucking cool, and I love him. Yeah. Next question. I forgot Jirachi. But it's the Wishmaker. There are so many other answers we could tackle. That That's its Pokemon. own podcast. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. This was asked by MazinZX. If you can make a fusion hero using any Toku characters, who would you use? Mine would be a fusion of Brave and Blades. Ooh. Okay. Blaves. Drive and signal man. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to say, fuck it. The on the tricks. <laughs> Fuck you! The Omnitrix that allows me to turn into any of these type of hero characters. No, but that lets you turn into any one at a time. The idea is take two of your favorite power sets and fuse them into one thing. That's what I'm doing. My love for Tokusatsu and the Omnitrix. Bam! He's got you there. He's got you there. I don't know that he does, but whatever. <laughs> We're moving on. Okay, Paul or Emily. Emily. Hmm. What would I fuse to fuse together? <laughs> I am this is this is terrible, and it might my brain might just be fixated on Ghost, but I really wish that there was a Yuru Sen form for Ghost. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they didn't do that. It would have been so obvious to make him into an icon, and then have there be a form where he like took over his body or something, maybe in a movie. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they didn't do that. It would have been an easy gimmick to do. Emily, you might like my answer. What is it? Ghost and I... Ghost and Skull. Ah. Oh. Kamen Rider Ghost and Kamen Rider Skull. Oh, Ghost Rider. Skull Power Rangers. Oh, no. <laughs> that would look pretty, pretty freaking cool, I think. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, aesthetically speaking, if I was to hybridize those two together, it would be fucking crazy. Uh, Runner-up, it would be Saber and Blade. Because <laughs> they're both sword-based, and mm -hmm. I think that the chunkiness of, of, Bla of uh, Blade and the cool elaboracy of Saber would come together nicely. That, that just leads me to think... Blade plus blades. <laughs> All I can think Blazes is, is saber, blade, blaver. <laughs> and you know my commandant Michel. Uh, my turn, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, mine, uh, it's it's simple. It actually already exists in something fan made. So spoiler, spoiler, spoilers for Power Rangers meet a nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, -huh. uh, it's when you, what you get... Oh, that sounds awesome. It's what you get when the Masked Rider gets the power of the Dragon Dagger. What the dagger. fuck? Whoa! I've never shit. seen this! this is a, yeah, this is... Read Nightmare on Elm Street Power Rangers. Oh my god. <laughs> so fucking cool. Mm -hmm. oh my god. That's Dex with the Dragon Dagger. Wow. Damn. That's a so clean that's suit. astonishing. I love he has the symbol. Yeah. The symbol in the... the <laughs> Apparently it's called field. Masked Rider Super Green. Hell yeah. Can Hell you imagine yeah. if Dex got the power of the White Blaster Beetleborg? <laughs> Yeah. I love I love he has a line in this panel that says your bonds of hopelessness cannot hold me. Wait no, my, my favorite answer is my, my changed answer is something that also kind of exists, and it's the white fangular board! Yes! <laughs> Trust! Trust! 
Yes! Drac yes! Ah, yes! My favorite! The combination of Dracula and hockey equipment. <laughs> I, like, I like when Banjo got caught in the, one of the henchins. I liked when Banjo got caught in one of the henchins, and then he went, <laughs> Oh, yeah! We're cross so good. Uh, all right. Next. Uh, all right. Next question. This was asked by Thespian. Who does the multiverse better, Toku or superheroes? Toku. <laughs> I think they have about an equal ratio of this thing's canon, but this thing isn't. I think the only difference I can di ish discern is if you're paying really close enough attention, Toku crossovers are much easier to identify as canon or non-canon. Perfect examples are Decade, Zio, and the Heisei vs. Showa movie. Okay. Yeah, that Toku. <laughs> who, who does the multiverse better? Yeah. Toku on one, only in one franchise. Lane knows which one I'm talking about. Ultraman. Ultraman, that's, Ultraman that's cool. does the multiverse right because they actually acknowledge that there is a multiverse. Where if Kamen Rider and Sentai, you have to fi like each you, you have to figure it, it out. You, Zero. But as a whole, I think it's Western comics do like Western superheroes do like they at least address the multiverse more as a concept. Okay, Emily. I legitimately pass on this question because I think that both have ways, have moments where it absolutely triumphs using the multiverse and ways where they're like, what are you doing? Valid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty even. And also, I don't know if I've, if I've enjoyed enough media in either to really make any kind of comment on it. I think I'm going to be the outlier here, and I'm going to say superhero stuff. Here's the thing. With superhero stuff, dealing with the multiverse, they tend to really wear it on. Like, they tend to do it only for really, really big events, and you know that they're canon, because a lot of the times they change the canon. Whereas with Toku stuff, when they're doing all these big crossovers, you're just kind of left to assume, ah, eh, just because. And also, nine times out of ten when it comes to movies, especially crossover movies, they don't tend to be canon. They don't tend to really impact the going forward narrative of either franchise or yeah. any of the franchise. I, I don't have much experience. Oh, no, with oh, no, no, oh, no. I fully, but, I fully accept your answer because sometimes when you see these crossover movies, you just have to think, like, you shouldn't be there, you shouldn't be there, you're technically <laughs> dead. Exactly. Whereas superhero comics and superhero media in general bends over backwards to, to make sure that that, that we understand why these people are there yeah. and the implications of them being there. I just think it's better done there. Sorry, I know it's a Toku podcast. What happened, what happened to this guy? He's dead. Oh. Well, I think, Paul, it's actually because, like, it's the three of us are saying that, that yeah, because like, my answer too is I do think superheroes move. Superheroes do it better. However, only in like movie format, really. Like I think I think Toku tends to do it much better television wise. Sure. Yeah, like, I'll agree with that. Like, and I'm more of a movie guy than a television guy, so that's why I prefer the superhero. Like when I say superhero, I'm saying stuff like you know your Marvels, your DCs, your sure. Dark Horses. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah stuff. I think that that's that's understood. Yeah. But like, I find that the multiverse there is a little more. There's a reason for it happening, and like you guys were saying, mm -hmm. whereas it just happens and then we'll never speak of it again not that superhero <laughs> media never does that to be fair sure. and there are exceptions like godzilla is toku and i love the godzilla movies like yeah. and i think they work together but when superheroes tend to create these these bullshit matchups that are multiverse based it's more of a what if and you're mm -hmm. meant to accept it as that but when it comes to toku it's just kind of like it's an entire movie you're intended to watch but you're also meant to accept that it's probably not going to matter in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. I'd much rather watch a Marvel or DC what if than like a, a hypothetical movie that they put a whole lot of time into that mm -hmm. isn't going to matter in the end. Yeah. So that would have been a good question to end this on, but I'm an asshole. So what's yeah, next? you decided to come up with two. More <laughs> I didn't questions. come up with these. these well, the, no, these were questions. You in picked the them. <laughs> you picked these. So you're still culpable for this. True. <laughs> 20 years. This was by ALX002. 20 years later, does the Spongebob movie hold up? Hell yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. Since SpongeBob, yeah, I don't think I've seen it. Since Spongebob is forever memeable, yes. It, it it's, it's genuinely hilarious. It's got great animation it's and David song. Hasselhoff. It's got David Hasselhoff. It was my first exposure to Scarlett Johansson, and I didn't even know. <laughs> 
I mean, I saw Home Alone 3 as a Fucking kid. Fucking Alec so. Baldwin's <laughs> Dennis. Yeah. I don't and think I've seen it. You should watch. It has oh. genuinely one of the best movie oh. openings ever. It, We're going to watch that. It, oh. and you, know, you and me. And you, and you, you know what? Biggest reason why you should watch it is canonically the end of Spongebob. Yeah. Oh, okay. Steve, oh. Steven Hillenburg, God rest his soul, made the movie so that the series, even though it's still going on to this day. It all still happens before the movie. It also happens before the movie. The movie is the end. Wow. So he dies. And it's got Jeffrey Tambor <laughs> as King Neptune. Balls! 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 It's, balls. Balls. it's, it's, it's a really funny movie. It's really it is. Okay. It's amazing. SpongeBob's great. Tickets to the SpongeBob movie! Yeah! <laughs> Who a part of the, the, the copyright? <laughs> What I really like about about it is that the way it portrays a frogfish, exactly how it actually works. <laughs> it's just SpongeBobified, <laughs> and I love it. Oh, and also oh. Alvaro Levine does a cover of the SpongeBob theme song. What? Oh, yeah. also the GameCube <laughs> game version of that movie oh is God. fucking it slaps. I like the Wonderland ride. <laughs> <laughs> I actually went when I went on that. Yeah, it's fun. So what's yeah. the last question? What is it? Some <laughs> grand scheme? Some philosophical question about why we love doing this stuff? Well, we already did that, but the oh. last question asked by Vegas is boxers or briefs? Commando, baby! <laughs> boxers! Yeah. I'm not answering because no one needs to know that. Shorts. I found Tear away the shorts. pants. <laughs> Ass this, this ending just turns into jackass two It's <laughs> Just all at once. Jack I ass just have ordinary, ordinary underwear that I think are normal. Very like, fair, Emily. You know what you call them. Well, you see, I really, really like boxer briefs. I like the comforting <laughs> snugness of the hug of it, but I also like the fact that oh, they go no, part way. That they both. go down by no. That this is an actual thing. They, <laughs> I, mean, I know the, boxer briefs. The the, 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 the the they go partially down my thigh so that my balls don't drop out of my. <laughs> It's a genuine problem. Oh, chafed in underwear, it sucks. Hard mode, jorts. <laughs> there's, there's, no, there's no chafing, there's no nothing. Long jaws! I, I, I love wearing I those in winter. Do. Oh, you me too. But yeah, I, you know what? It'd be boxer briefs because they come in earth tones. <laughs> and because Run it back! They, oh they, 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 they don't have that crinkly elastic around it with the fabric. You it's just crinkly a regular, elastic? It's just a regular <laughs> boot elastic, but they, right. they, I'll they, crinkle your elastic. they go down my leg while Gross. still providing providing the comforting snugness of briefs, and that's why Earth Tones are my favorite shade of underwear. <laughs> Good night, everybody. That, that is the q and That is 500 episodes in. Oh. We're done, guys. That's See it. you at 1,000. Not sure it ruined my love for Ryder forever. I don't even want to watch the finale. I don't give a shit. <laughs> We're done. It's a little too harsh. I'm gonna right. kombucha though because it's shit's good. So if we if we just if we if we have to watch Gab on the side, that's fine. I'll get into it. As I said on before, we're canceling the show. The we're we're done. done. All episodes from the internet. We're get ready for new cast. Unless Rangers. they do some kind of police robot theme Sentai, like I'm not I'm not in. All right, that's it. You know what? I'm done. Yeah, me too. What? That's right. I'm done. I am so fucking done. Fuck this tree. Fuck oh this rock. God. Fuck all this shit. Uh, I'm a speed racer, Flubber. Yeah. He still did I'll take like on that. the yellow he, he power. Did the, he, did I'll the, take, he did the... I want to be a Power Ranger bits. I'll it's take Power Ranger's Cosmic Fury. I'll take on the... I'll show you the theory of the cosmos. <laughs> I'll take on the yellow powers, mix them with mine, and become cute green cast. <laughs> I later cast them. I guess the real last question cast should... Cast Ranger Zero One. <laughs> the real last question should be... What are next? What will we be doing next? Uh, the next episodes of Gotcha. Uh, and... Jikai, video said die cast danger. <laughs> next week's the Gotcha finale. Hooray! I can't wait, I'm so happy. I was about to say hooray, I'm like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing Godzilla minus one at some point. We are. Yeah. yeah. We're doing Robocop at some point. Yeah, we are. But anyways, guys, thank you for 500 episodes. Yeah. We love you all so much. Couldn't have yeah. done it without you. To start start from 2015 and just... <laughs> to, to start from... I thought you were saying start from don't, episode don't 20. Don't watch the first year. Don't it's, watch the first year. It's awkward. We're so mad that's at where it. I, 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 I did some good shit in the first year. <laughs> Poncho! That's what I'm saying. <laughs> See, this is what I missed. That's all being in the same room. This is the good shit. Oh, yeah. You, you, know what, you know what? Just to cap it all off, I'm getting a selfie of all of us. Oh. It's not going anywhere. 
This is John. Put it on the Discord. I actually, uh, oh, wait, wait. I need to figure out how to get <laughs> All right, uh, Lane, go over there. Yep, I'm going over here. Hang on. It's okay, Ichi. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll edit Sir Knight's head over yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, I, I can't reach all of us. You didn't get uh, you. I know. Do a panorama shot. All right. Good enough. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Ichi, why don't you, all you right. start it all, you end it all. Thank you all, everyone, for listening, watching, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell, and being awesome. Cupcake. As, as always... <laughs> castranger.podbean.com from there you can find our Facebook, Twitter, merch store, Discord, Patreon, all of our cool shit. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for listening all this time. We hope to have you along for the next 500 episodes. We fucking love you! The best. Without you guys, we would just be a bunch of assholes shouting into the east. Honestly, we probably would have gotten out of this genre a long time if ago. If we didn't have the, the fans that we did and the community that we did, I would absolutely have quit so long ago. God, we might have been doing an anime podcast. Oh, <laughs> dear God. I would have done a Star Wars podcast. Yeah, oh. We would have reached out to a lot more, to a wider audience. We would have probably been making a lot more money. I would have gotten laid like by this point. Well. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> uh, Herpaderps. He said, said it! I, I haven't said that in a while. Confirmination! Hashtag confirmation, I did say. <laughs> fuck it, I'm calling her soup! Uh, fuck it, I'm calling her soup! Emily, hi! Blue Gun Circus! <laughs> Bigger the oh slot. God, Expect the rebroadcast episodes next year. You know the episodes that aren't on the YouTube channel yet. Expect right. them next year. Uh, Expect the unexpected. Shattered Grid read might actually finally happen. Oh my god! Even if it is just a little time capsule of like, yeah, this happened years ago. Why did it ever come out? Fuck you. That's Everyone why. listening, go tell your Toku friends about us. Unless they're toxic assholes, in which case, don't. Get the yes, fuck we don't, out of here. We don't need toxic engagement. We'd rather be small. But we <laughs> love but find more people. <laughs> it's small and weird, but still good. Small but fierce. I was yeah. like, how do we turn this into a dick joke? <laughs> <laughs> it's jizz. Next question. <laughs> I feel like we gotta end it on that. Alright, thank you all once again, and we will see you next week. Stay cast ranger. Power Woo! protect you. Stay brighter. Stay safe, everyone.